Hi there. Hello. Hi. We're Pooja Studios and welcome to our show. So good to have you all here. What what a great surprise. We weren't expecting you, but we're excited to have a lot of fun and we talk about all kinds of neat stuff YouTube. Yay for YouTube. <laughs> Decided to throw back a little. 1970s surprise show showcase for you all. That's right. Anybody lived in that time? Tacky TV era. I'm inspired because I was watching the show Riptide from the 80s. If anybody remembers it, that was definitely a carry through to it. But nonetheless, good to see you guys all here. Good to see you all. What a great looking crowd, guys. And uh, once again, guys, lots of stuff about YouTube tonight. Lots of AZ Days is in the house. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you, Jenny O'Brien. My Oli's cooking show. Just Pamela, SoCal Loki, Trophy Shot Outdoors, DJ Ian Entertainment, uh, Honey Lot is in here, Juliet Miranda, how are you? Good to see you, past guest, very sweet, uh, her and her amazing husband David, good to see you, Jerry, awesome, Sunset Travels, awesome to see you, Champ Works, Garage Man, what, what, I get together amazing channels, video call-in show, Jaywag 2G, I went from 7.5k channel views to 7.75 in three days. Congratulations to you, uh, Gene Bear. Good stuff. Arthur Moorhead is in the house. Good to see you. <coughs> Eddie, welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to have you in from New York City. Excellent, my friend. Well, big love to you from Montreal. So great to have you in here. Uh, Nomadic Bike, I got my community tag. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. We we're going to be a little bit fun to watch tonight because, um, yeah, this is the, not a healthy household. The dream has come true for Andrew. No, she's saying that because she lost <laughs> her voice. And we didn't have a live stream. I might rejoice into it a little bit more, but you know what? Yes. Yeah. So you're going to be hearing me going back and forth today. Sometimes I don't have a voice at all, and sometimes I do have it. That's right, folks. And so this is a Andrew, Pusha Studios Andrew's we've turned into me. the Hot Jazz Station. That's right. 92.7 Oklahoma voice of the whisperer so, uh, uh, Andrew had his wish come true he muted me a couple of times last week so I, I guess that was a wish coming true be careful what you wish for she's still going on about that be careful, be careful. Oh, well you know <laughs> this is not going <laughs> to prevent me from chatting too much uh, the, 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 I, she's got too much information so it's going to be a little bit more Andrew a little bit less wifey but I'm still here and I'm going to be in oh the no. chat oh no oh no I'm on my own no, this is gonna. Be, she's. She wanted it, right, guys? You she. I it. told her I got her ice cream, so now she has to talk. I. She did. I, I got she her did. ice cream. I did. And Napolitan on top of that, yeah. every flavor that you can think of that people care about: vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. And I dump cinnamon on it on top of it. Yeah, because okay. she likes to ruin things that way. <laughs> it's gonna be nice to me now. Oh, I bet it was really yummy. Mm -hmm. This is going to be ASMR TikTok Tuesday for me. That's true. And I didn't really have to do anything special for that. We could do the whole thing in ASMR. Yeah. Once I get hot coffee, I might be a bit better. Okay, guys. We're scrolling. You have to scroll the page. Scroll the page. Scroll the page. That's right. 
Laura really inspired us the other day, didn't she? We've been on like ASMR kicks ever since. She is I know, such I'm so looking forward. And this would be yeah. the right time for to do <laughs> ASMR from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Eddie, you picked a real fine time to join us. <laughs> Let's get technical, technical. I want to get technical. Let me hear who should talk. Who should talk? Let me hear who should talk. <laughs> sticky butts, sticky butts. Sticky butts, sticky butts, sticky butts. Sticky buds, sticky buds, sticky buds. Don't worry, guys. There is going to be lots of information coming. Please do not judge this live stream by the performance you've seen thus far. That's right. <laughs> there will be lots of good and information. And today is one of our favorite live streams when we, uh, everybody has questions and some of us has answers. <laughs> you and I have questions. <laughs> you and I have answers. So we're going to try to dive deep into YouTube, photo editing, optimization, video, anything and everything. As always, three hours of you guys putting questions in the chat and as well the answers uh we inspire get inspired and learn by you as well and that's why we love this evening so much that's right guys this is the ones these are the youtubers these are the ones who just want to keep pushing thing and making things better i just seen uh brock next say oh i'm judging so i missed his first comment but very curious good afternoon folks uh what did he write what did he write i'm almost scared to find what he writes uh bc outdoors how are you <laughs> Um, and it's my kingdom sleeping now. That's right. Uh, please <laughs> refrain. Guys, in any live stream, especially now the way YouTube's going, please try to space it out a little bit more than just like I got to. Is try to say something positive into the sentence because that's what the algorithm is watching for. So expand on a little bit. Try to avoid the I got to as I tell you. And it doesn't matter if you say subscribed or bells or put the emojis for bells. You can't fool one of the world's greatest uh, algorithms. So. Just be truthful, write it out in a full line or two. Take a moment, extra moment. Hey there, I checked out your channel. I, I too really love uh, fishing. It's great to meet you. Just join your channel. Just something like that. Just keep it relevant because we got to start uh, removing comments like that more. David is loving too, buddy. That's awesome, Juliet. I had thought he knew about it already. That's why I was so surprised. That's awesome. Tell him he's got to get vidIQ as well. Use them in conjunction. Use one of our affiliate links down below in the description. Mm -hmm. That does help us out. It's free, <laughs> free for it's both. Free for you, but it gives us. Some yeah, we get a kickback into it, and it shows us that we're. Yeah, the audio is a little bit low. Uh, Xenia is having a bit of trouble speaking tonight. I got the mic up on full here. If I talk louder, let me see. Here. You gotta talk louder. The gain is way up. Oh wait, there. That should do it. Yeah, that gets us up higher. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. I want you to all come to your base too. Oh. Hello. Try again for Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, that's awful. Relax. Bring the base back. Relax, relax, Bring you're good. Bring the base back. Now it, it sounds like, I don't know, it's like a cartoon. Oh my god. I, I want to hear the deep voice. But then you're going to sound all muffled to them. Well, they're not going to hear me anymore. You're going to sound Oh, thank you, Juliet. I appreciate it. Yeah, guys, and, and any of you who ever aren't using vidIQ, who aren't using TubeBuddy, who aren't using any of the programs, Canva, all them, if you guys can use our affiliate links, links, it's a really great way to help us. Also, for Amazon, we do not get any money for it. Uh, we, you, I'm sorry. It doesn't cost you any extra. It's your same account, same everything, but if you go through our affiliate link, we actually get something off of each product that you buy. It's not much, but it definitely does help us out, so... Uh, if you can do that, that'd be really appreciated. Uh, so many channels in here. I want to call all your names out in just a second, so have no fear. And if you don't have a wrench, Xenia's uh, getting to you guys. She's just, just v uh, we have to vet a little bit more. So, uh, all the new things going on, but no reflection you, and it's great to have you all in here. As we say tonight, guys, this is about YouTube. Talk about YouTube, and last night was amazing, guys. We had such a good time. What a great conversation. I'm um, going to bring up the thumbnail. That was our YouTube uh, discussion last night. And we went over a lot of the big YouTubers, which has been a pet peeve I've been hearing lately. So much so that's actually a lot of the big YouTubers are starting to come out about it as well. They're getting tired of being complained about like they get everything easy on here. Like the, th the three in the picture you see right there are all three that made their own success here on YouTube. They're not Jake Pauls and stuff like that. And we went and looked at them and found things within them that we can use to help our channels better or what things they're doing that got them where they were. 
and you know kind of use them as a case study and instead of complaining about it it's better to go and look at them and see what we can uh, get out of it what we can benefit from so that was amazing though because then we get to learn so much and that's what we usually do behind the scheme the scenes anyway uh we go through the bigger channels we try to see what they are doing so this uh time yesterday we decided to do it together with you guys yeah exactly uh, which i think a lot of people who were there benefited from that as well because you kind of see where it's going how they're growing you know see their videos from the back when and them building their own success on youtube even motivation through them and seeing like you know what like when we were talking about linus tech tips people were blown away at the whole thing he created out of absolutely nothing and how long it took him to do so and they're, they're get inspired by them in every shape and form at one time, every U- big YouTuber had the exact same number of subscribers that you have right now. I've always said that. They didn't just come on with a million subscribers and go up or wherever they're at. They started just where all of us are right now. And it's not a guarantee that we'll all get there. There's nothing guaranteed in life. But we can do our best we can do. So in case that opportunity knocks, we are ready. That's the biggest thing. Yes, definitely. Mm. So go and check it out. It was, I would say, it was like a little bit of Tech Talk Tuesday. Uh, yeah, it like a special, c- like with from that series. Yeah, and we went uh, through some of the uh, chats in the channel as well. Yeah, uh, in the chat. <laughs> uh, it was fun. Channels in the chat and reviewed some of those as well. So it was really nice, really nice, good y- reviews. Yep, yeah. L- that's it. it. It falls through with Tech Talk Tuesday, and it's something we just honestly, guys, it's so much fun we're doing. It's what we're doing with you guys tonight. It is so much fun th- to do this because we're learning from you guys as much and everybody's helping each other. And that's where it goes. You don't need to belong to a club. No YouTuber got big by belonging to a club. But you can drop in once in a while and just talk shop with people. You know, everybody's got new ideas, new things they've picked up and would like to, you know, pass on to the other one and vice versa. Uh, thank you. Uh, I was, uh, thank, uh, thank you. That's Your real kind. estate whisperer is here as well. Uh, yeah, it's only had 100 subscribers. I was super proud of it. it takes time Is when it? you want real people to like your content. That's true. Very true. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Didn't even see that till now. I will be fixing that. Thank you very much. That's what happens when you do things in a hurry, folks. <laughs> and thank you for doing that. No, because the algorithm, even on your graphics, there, there's first tech talk tip of the night. The algorithm, remember I've told, like I said last night with Linus Tech Tips, how he makes all these weird faces. He does it to accentuate in the algorithm because the algorithm goes for faces on um, on your thumbnails. Even text, it can tell when things are wrong and when things are misspelled and all this stuff. You want things proper onto it. So I'm really glad you told me that. I mean, I won't always sink you, but as up and coming YouTubers, we want everything in our arsenal to, to be able to have a chance to get ahead. So. We really got to cross our eyes and dot our t- <laughs> dot our eyes and cross our T's. Oh my God, Juliet's gonna be correcting me every twenty seconds. She's got a good case study tonight. <laughs> so, so yeah, guys, that's a good thing. That, that thank you for telling me that. Yeah, definitely check those things over, like the putting out. We did that one fast, but if we usually do something new, Xenia and I are, will look at it, and because we have the both of us, if you don't, you can ask a friend on list to get them to look first or send them the picture. So. Um, as we can find out, uh, I do, 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 do. getting lots of new channels in here. That's awesome. Great to have you in. Like I say, Xenia is going through guys and slowly handing out wrenches. So please, in the meal, meantime, don't feel left out or anything. We just double I have to double check now. We live in the new era on YouTube. <laughs> I have done it. Like, I know, Juliet. I know. And uh, thank you for telling me because I want to fix long term. I don't want that sitting up there. Once again, it's about putting your best foot forward. So and little things do count. Little things do go a long way. You know, and we mm. do appreciate guys. Uh, yeah, a lot too. It's the only saving time. grace is. Uh, OK, truth be known, there's a little bit of clickbait into it. Remember I told you guys there's always good clickbait and bad clickbait. Can you guys figure out what's the good clickbait in this? Let's analyze. Yeah, I'm going to give you guys a minute to think about it. I'll give like I'm I'm not going to I'll give you about a a minute or two to answer it. What do you think? Because I've always said clickbait comes like eggs. There's good cholesterol and bad cholesterol. There's good clickbait and bad clickbait. And this one here we played off of good clickbait because we didn't lie. Yeah, it's in the thumbnail most definitely, but there was something into it. Nerd of the North, how are you, my friend? Great to see you. Great to see you. And Hillbilly Pyro, such a pleasure. Great to see you guys. Mm. Like, if you 
a, a canoeing trip and the canoe almost tips over and you're in some white water, it doesn't have to be Niagara to say that uh, things got crazy on the lake. And don't show a wide shot of the canoe with the mountains and everything tipping. Nobody's going to see it because everything is zoomed in, right? Because it's a th uh, zoomed out because it's a thumbnail. So focus in on it. Don't try to get the whole shot. Get the shot that matters. Zoom in more on the canoe on its side a bit more. Stuff like that. Play on it. That's a good clickbait. Bad clickbait is when you lie. If we were to put these people on, on the thumbnail but not talk about them in any shape or form, that's bad clickbait. That's what can get you community strikes. We did the opposite. We purposely talked about them for a while. Um, to see what we did, why it was good clickbait, I'm going to show you. Because now if we go look from this one up to here, as you can notice, that writing is almost unlegible there. Still there, though. It's still there. So I'm going to correct the spelling mistake, but it's still there. But it's still there. But what do most people see? What's their secret? And you see three people there that are quite popular. That's good clickbait. That's the way to get people to question what's into it. That's the same thing that will draw people into seeing what it's about. That's the difference between good and bad clickbait. That's the difference between a lie and not a lie. That's right. And it was relevant to the content since yeah. we were looking through their channels and talking mm -hmm. about the influence and inspiration, what the f they are doing for sure. Exactly, video call in show. Exactly. You know, three big YouTubers, there's two guy, one girl. I mean, there's all kinds of possibility. You know, that anybody could be wondering what it's about. Because most people tend to even click. They'll see something like that half the time. They won't even go down and read the title, they'll just click. And that's the difference between good and bad clickbait. Bad clickbait, like I say, would be to do all this and then never even touch it. And or if you have noticed, our sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, if you have noticed, our uh, thumbnails do have writing on them. And why? Especially now. And just a reminder to you that now when the videos get suggested at the end of uh, each video, they actually don't have uh, the titles anymore visible unless you hover over them. Yeah. So it's in your advantage if you put some kind of information about your video in writing on the thumbnail as well. Secondly, guys, when you work on your thumbnails, or mostly when you're working on them, it's going to look like this. Okay? That's why whatever program... Can you zoom out in uh, Canva? Yeah. You can? Okay, because almost every other program can, so I want to make sure. When you work on your thumbnail, always remember how small it's going to be when it's done. And time to time as you're working onto it, zoom it out to this size and make sure what you want to have in there is legible that you want to be seen. Keep bringing back every every little bit. Just zoom it out, look at it, flash your eyes. Sometimes the old uh, editor's trick is to f like flick your eyes or shake your head, or just turn away for a minute and then look at it with fresh eyes, and think if you were the viewer, am I getting the message? That that's a. Uh, that's something that a lot of people forget to do because a lot of times when we do it, we're like, oh, wow, this is such a nice picture and it's got all this and that. Oh, look, it's got the city and oh, my God, that looks like a, a, a I don't know, an old uh, Ford Fairlane in the back passing down the road. That's going to look so cool. It does look cool as an eight by ten, but it's unvisible as a thumbnail. And that's what happens. And that's why it's so important to keep zooming back to there. Bring it up, do some more edits bring it back again and so on and so forth the whole way through and make sure to do it at the end take a time let it sit for a minute and then look at it smaller and make sure people are seeing it, it sounds very simple but it doesn't happen a lot and I can tell with a lot of thumbnails I see that's exactly what happened it was like oh man it's such a cool picture thumbnail time but in the end it's the Anirondack Mountains it's the lake there's a speck there, which that person was hoping everybody would see that loon going across and this uh, beautiful old wooden canoe with a lovely couple into it in the middle of the water. There's nothing. The, the, at this size, it's lost. So, for instance, if it is a canoe, zoom into that more. Lose the mountains if you have to. Try to get them in more. You've got to make them prominent. Sometimes you're going to have to cut them out, use it as a background and bring the canoe more to the forefront even to give it that kind of 2D element look to it. Now, uh, a practical tip, if you want to uh, look, a preview, how it's going to look on the phone or tablet or any other device that you are using, you can press F12 
on your computer mm. and it's actually gonna um, show you the preview on how it looks on different phones and tablets that's true yep and then I wanted to comment to your real estate whisperer said that less than five words on the thumbnail according to Jeremy Vest he said no words are even better I would argue that according to YouTube Creators Academy um, the, the visual and uh, the wording is necessary both exactly because of what I just mentioned mm. and they do perform better when you do have both picture and uh, a graphic like a, s a word at least uh, Gary I would recommend then maybe looking at Canva link down in the description and you can do your thumbnail and banners and everything in there as well plus the good thing about that is we'll also show you the templates on top of it the same as there and you can use it unlimited for that so you can I think you can do it uh, for free from uh, your phone app on TubeBuddy. I'm not sure though, but I think that's what the the difference is with the app and the desktop application of TubeBuddy. For a little high. <laughs> there. That's better. Better? Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, well, what do you think? Uh, should we do a roll call? We yep. kind of jumped right into it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> There's so many. I, well, that's what it's about, getting inspired in the moment, seeing stuff and discussing it. Guys, don't forget, too, we'd love to see your selfies tonight, anytime. It's always a great time to see you. And there's where you can self-promote. you got merch, got all that great stuff. That's a great time to put it on. Uh, take a selfie of you watching us. If you can't do that, a selfie of you. Upload, please use the hashtag Blue Wrench Group so everybody can see what you got going on. Uh, I don't know how to do thumbnails, Purple Gang says. Awesome, it's okay. Um, no, we have done a couple of times uh, during our Tuesday Tech Talks yeah. a little like tutorials and, and did a couple of people's thumbnails as well. Uh, we might do it again, maybe in a quick version of that. Um, but uh, the main thing is you can um, create a thumbnail, make a color, you know, contrast, colorful, uh, well understandable, and simple. And um, you can use try try out Canva. It already has a template that is sized uh, for the proper size for YouTube. Uh, so all you have to do is just create what you want to see there. Um, links are down below, and we don't get any money for that. It's not sponsored. It just we have been using it for a long time, and it saves time, and it seems that uh, people like using it. Yeah, guys, Xenia's talking a little quieter tonight. She has a very sore throat. She's got that. Uh, uh, as we say that dirt that's going around my daughter had it my son has it now she has it so she is trying her best so yeah if you can just crank up the volume a bit and I'm trying to talk back a little bit so you don't get uh, too much uh, shot in your ears I'll bring you up a little bit more Hold on one second. It's gonna get to me a bit. Let's try. Um, just Juju um, actually Canva work for iOS and Android both I, I know there are lots of uh, other apps you can look up as well any photo editing app is gonna work for that as well why I like Canva is because it's already is sized to the proper um, you know um, proportions it, it actually is the way you need it like if you choose to create this YouTube channel art or thumbnail uh, or profile picture is already gonna, already gonna be sized. So all you have to do is just uh, create the design part, download it, upload it back to YouTube, and it works and, and fits the way it should. So that's the neat part about it. Talk again. And uh, yes, uh, Gene Bear or G Bag is doing logos as well. So that's that's something if uh, you wanna look at making your logo. You gotta talk right in here if you're talking quiet. Well, right I can hear myself, so I'm pretty sure they can hear me They were too. just saying you're coming in low and you're, I can see right on the levels. Well, so. guys, I will be lower than Andrew because I don't have a voice. I oh. can't do anything about it. So you gotta strengthen as much as we can. This is where women are contrary, by the way, folks. Strung out outdoors, <laughs> hello. Gosh. So you're up. Okay, try now. Hello. My voice is going to be different today than Andrew's because we're running on two different volumes. That's okay, but as long as you speak right in the middle part here, they will at least hear you better. You can still talk low. That's what I'm trying to say. Sweetheart, sugar pie, honey bun, all that great stuff. Not at least you got me ice cream, so that's kind of positive. <laughs> she burst it because she talks too much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She stole the top again. You, I, I never moved it. I never moved it for where you put me. Like, literally, I never moved it. I, the only thing I could do is put it in my mouth. <laughs> well, that will be the next option. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. Don't you get to see so much fun around here? <laughs> Thank you for all the best wishes, yeah. 
Thank you. Let's <laughs> see who we got here. Lily. Yeah, it's just about time to call you guys out. That's about the best I can do with it, guys. Otherwise, the volume's going to get really, really tinny. And I don't want to talk too much louder than she does because then it's going to be too much of a shock in your ears as we go back and forth. So trying to stay around the same volume. And I think it's just about time to say hi to all of you guys. She sounds sexy, Juliet says. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you kind of just don't force it. <laughs> I'm not forcing. It just goes back and forth now. If I'm going to be drinking now my coffee, I should get a little bit better now. Yeah, take a couple. Of I'll say hi to everybody. Give you a little break. All right, guys, time to say hi to all you amazing people in here. So great to have you all. Guys, the numbers are going up, so please keep tweeting it out. Please hit him, keep hitting that like button. It really does help a lot. In the meantime, I'm going to say some uh, big hellos. You guys get an arena size welcome. That's right. Echo and all, because you guys are the stars of the show. Let's do some proper echo here. There we go. That sounds a little better. All righty, guys. Time to say hi. We got video call-in shows in here. Vibrasser Outdoors, Vibrasser Outdoors. Unacquaintedly, John Queen's in the house. Tootsie Rolling Stone Travels. Timmy Turner. The official EC YouTube channel. The Irish Train Guy. Sweeney Todd 70. Strung Out Outdoors. Stingray Steve. Shira. Rolling with the Reeds. Rosalrama Videos. Ralph Barton. Purple Gang. PM's Adventure Vlogs. PD Tech. Uh, we have Packeray TV, one Mr. Yeo, old car, uh, old car auto guy, Northern Ohio Railroad act Action, Nicole D, Miss Brana's Perry, Mountain Man, Mary Boozer RC, <laughs> Me and Piano, Love Bird's Life, Lujan Gaming, Loafers Lounge, Lily Gazoo, Icy Media, Kings in Darwin, JWAG 2G, aka Gene Bear, Just Juju, Juliet Miranda, Jeff's wife Christy, Jackie Heavy Food Reviews, Iced Rose, HSFL Paranormal, John, how are you? Good to see you. Henna Yasmin, Good Times Outdoors, Gabriel Z. Emergency vehicles, trains, aircraft, etc. Eddie Nuez, DJ Ian Entertainment, Crap My Dad Makes Me Watch, Brand Eyes Gaming, Big Rob, aka Godfather Scratcher, BC Outdoor, Alex the Blue Man, Reviewer and Gamer, 400 AGL, and welcome to everybody who I did not shout out. Please just say hi and highlight our names so I can get you too. PD Tech says, hope you're feeling better very soon. Thank you. Eddie Nunes is here as well. Road Trip Eddie is here. Amo Amor and John T. Cash. Jason NG is in the house. AU Pack Meal joining us as well. Aromatic Sense, thank you. Dizomified, how are you? Gabriel Z. Joel Andrew. Nicole D. Thank you for joining us, and hello to everybody who's listening to us on their headphones. Say hi in the chat if you can, and if you can't, that's okay too. Hope you enjoy your night with us. Pilot Ryan and Captain Mike RC, what's going on, my friend? Past guests still got channels raving about the night we had you on. They enjoyed you very, very much. Rolling with the Reeds is in here. Destination Chronicles, Gary Foster, Brant's Aerials, Brand Eyes Gaming, SM Gamer. Who else are we missing here? Carrie, Casey Green's in the house. How are you? Timmy Turner, Nicole D. Sticky butts, sticky butts. Sticky butts, sticky butts, sticky butts. Sticky butts in the house. And I must say, the pilot Ryan and his latest video um, going over 10,000 views. I know, that's I think cool. it was like 12 or something, almost 13. Good job. Very good job, my friend. Yeah, congrats on that. Well earned, well done. Uh, uh, it's Brandy's in the house. How are you? Uh, A.U. Pacquiao says to get better soon. The Dustin Lungo show is in the house. Faye M. Bucks Wild. Uh, and uh, if anybody else I missed, I'm Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors, one of the greatest channel names on YouTube. Good to see you. J. Kurt Vivo, how you doing, my friend? There's a channel that's growing like crazy. 
Uh, one mystery Yale. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for supporting the us. The official EC YouTube channel as well. Live through a lens. Well, isn't that a nice surprise? Jap Get you your wrench back. A formal uh, Japanese lifestyle in UK. Now aspiring photographer. Yep. Live through a lens. I love your channel name, by the way. I, I mean, I loved... Uh, Japanese Lifestyle UK. It was that's what drew me to you in the first place. But uh, it's a really nice, I really like the so name. So talented, guys. Mm -hmm. So talented in photo. And he all of a sudden just discovered this talent of photography. No, now he's it. running with it. I love it. Sandy A Seven, how are you? Great to see you. After your interview with Method Box, I contacted them and I'm planning to meet them at VidCon this summer. That's that awesome, so Tootsie Rolling Stone. That is so amazing. Mm. This is what it's all about, guys. That's it's right. Because you're getting to know these amazing people in the chat through our interviews and, uh, and possibly make connections outside uh, of YouTube as well. That is cool. Ameri American Desi Mom, great to see you in. Hope you're doing well. Lily Gazzo, hello. So many great channels, guys. Uh, Clickbait Crisis, what's going on? Good to see you. And Kings in Darwin, once again, welcome. And Johnny T. Cash, great to see you. Uh, artfully yours with Diana, how are you? So nice to see you, hope you're doing well. Early Kit Inn is in the house, good to see you. Yes, hello. Northern Ohio Railroad action, of course, once again. Love having the train guys in as well. Love having all you guys in, that's the point of this channel, is people coming from all these different niches and getting together, expanding your horizons, and especially on tonight, Tech Talk Tuesday, where we really get to discuss the things that we all want to figure out together. Are you losing your voice too? Oh yeah, it's coming. I know it is. I'm just trying to pretend it's this not. This is going to be a fun thing at the end of the week. Yes. <laughs> Good Cemetery's gone bad. How are you? Great to see you. The official EC YouTube channel. Uh, Gone's Girl, Denny. How are you? Great to see you. Blue Collar Fishing. Good evening. Are you sick? Sick. Yeah, he's sick. <laughs> not that <simple. laughs> Thanks for what you do. I hope the lucky number oh. sometime. Great show you all. Thank you so much for 100 AGL. I really do appreciate it. It was nice. We didn't get to talk too much. Uh, it was such a big panel, but it was really great meeting you the other day at Rogers. So, uh, pleasure getting to know you more and more each day. Amy Amor, what's going on? What's going on? Ralph Barton. I know I'm probably calling some names over again, but that's okay. I don't mind saying you guys' names over and over and over. Our great adventure vlogs. How are you doing? Hope you're having an awesome night. Uh, let's take a look at some selfies, guys. Marcel Harding, how are you? Great to see you. And Carter Zeet is here. See, guys, channels from all over the rainbow. John T. Cash, hello, my friend, hello. Our little big family. Oh. Oh, well, that's nice of you, loafers, but we, uh, yeah, we can't do that. Though I appreciate, though, you're thinking of others. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that was that's a new one. Oh, I Marcel that. Harding is here. Mm -hmm. So no worries. I appreciate the uh, the good kind spirit towards your fellow creators. I get that's, that's a hard one like that because I do like that's a nice gesture. So yes, uh, no, that's right. Just not oh. Uh, definitely. If you yep. st stick around, we yep. talk a lot about how to grow on YouTube, with different techniques and optimization of your channel, and improving your content. And your YouTube page as well, so stick around. I'm just bringing the bass up uh, down a little bit. Uh, right now, when I hear you talking, I want to board a plane all of a sudden. <laughs> and why is it a bad thing? Flight A737-26 <laughs> is ready to leave from Calgary to California. It is bright and sunny. The pilot is good. I'm beginning to greet you all. I hope you have a really nice flight, and thank you for choosing your Canada. Please be seated. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It has that little booming where you can semi understand what's being said. Type of thing. What did they say? Was that my flight? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, alrighty. Let's take a look at some selfies here, guys. When you're not feeling well, you just got to make the best of it. And Xenia's been a real trooper through it. So, hats off to her. That's mom. That's my wee one for you. <laughs> She's a trooper. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the Acer and Seatbelt sign. If you haven't already done so, please store your carry-on luggage underneath the seat in front of you. No. Or in the overhead bin. In the airport, getting please on the flight. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelt. No, that wouldn't be. Our flight is ready for the gathering the board. Please watch the stewardess. That would be that one. You have to be the low booby that's just kind of there like God's voice in the back. Yeah. Uh, 
We have a flight to Norway. It's taking off in one hour. <laughs> have you visited our duty-free shop recently? It has to be a woman's voice that will never come off better than that. Take advantage of our offer on Amazon.com and Amazon.ca. Already, guys. Our affiliate links are down <laughs> in our video description. <laughs> Uh, we're going to move on from this now. <laughs> it's been warned. Yeah, please turn it fast. Plain road. Northern so Ohio uh, Railroad. I'd like to say how much I love that. Wow, that is such a great shirt. Very, very cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, your selfie. And there's the place, guys, to show off your merch. There you go. Northern Ohio Railroad Auction, my friend. Looking good. Looking good. And speaking of looking good, how can I not look good with Jackie? Oh, well, we're going to go vex the court since we're here. Hi, Pooch, it's snowing again, but it's not that cold for me. Four degrees Celsius. What temperature is it there? It's probably right now around minus, I'm going to say minus 10 Celsius somewhere. I guess in that vicinity. So I'm glad you're not too cold. Great to see you. Thank you always for the great... Uh, Great selfie photos. I'm gonna go back now to our friend Jackie Haru, who just looks absolutely adorable as always. Thank you so much for the selfie. Always love seeing you. She's she's like a real life real life pixie. She really is. Yeah, very cute. <laughs> so sweet and so good to us. So many really do appreciate it. Raza Rama, that is just to phenomenal. Welcome to our flight. Oh god, this is gonna be a recurring thing. Zero zero, <laughs> annoying train sound. Do I have to get the horn out? <laughs> Launch pads in the house. Launch pads People here. I happen to enjoy it, by the way, and I can't do anything about it, so I might as well talk in a plain talk. <laughs> <laughs> this won't get tiresome over time, guys. By the way, congratulations to Launchpad Astronomy, who crossed 10K just uh, a couple of days ago. You're flying, man, and rightfully so. Anybody who has not checked out uh, Launchpad Discovery, actually, That's check true. out our interview with them first and then go and check out Launchpad. Make it a double hitter. You're not going to be disappointed. People are still going back and tell, I see them telling other people to go back and watch that interview. It was, yeah, it was so good. It was yep. so good. Yeah. Uh, Captain Ryan, if you're still in the house, I hope you and Launchpad meet each other. If you haven't already, you guys would be such a good mix, such a, a great uh, group of people uh, to connect with. Oh, very quick, too fast. Rosal Rama, man, your photography is just stellar as always. All the way from Pevy. Thank you so very Old much. Old Car Auto Guy says that it's better than the horn. <laughs> now we can have a vote. Well, now we have to, I guess we have to compare. All right. So, so please put one if you're enjoying the horn. Please put two if you're enjoying my voice. They probably forget what the horn sounds like. The horn sounds something like this. <laughs> There, now you talk. Or, welcome to our Push Studios plane. Seat number one is for the horn. Everybody's loving the horn. Can't get enough of the horn. Please put it only once, Lexicor. <laughs> Chaos peddlers, I want to say you guys uh, rock, and I'm glad to part of YouTube community. You do not have to do that. Thank you very this much. This is not fair. Please only put it once. So we're going to talk about Vexy's Core's channel now for the rest of the show tonight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it seems like uh, Tootsie Rolling Stone is kind of on your uh, side. Oh, so You're cool. not welcome. Yes. Oh, isn't that nice? Like, thanks for being close. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Come on. You're the one that's usually begging for me to be in these things. You always come out blurry anyway. <laughs> in New York City tonight, stay safe, everyone, and keep it between the ditches. GMC, no limit. limit. You be safe on the road, my friend. Oh, my God, many a nights. Oh, my God, many a nights. Sitting, that was my view, too. Be safe on the road, my friend, please, okay? That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Love the hat, by the way. Always, uh, Love seeing it. Uh, boo -boo -boo -boo. Uh, Casey Green, Casey Green, how are you? Great to see you. What, what I missed what was written. Back to the grindstone after all that on-site shooting. 
Well, it's great to have you here, and thank you so, so much for joining us. Such a pleasure. And there's Dave from Organic Gardening. Keeping it green, keeping it clean. Gotta love Dave. Great to see you, my friend. I'm def having difficulty hearing the audio, so I have them turned up, but the horn was loud. <laughs> yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> I know that was... I should have did the horn tonight. I know, because you two were louder than that. But uh, Xenia has a very sore throat tonight. She is, has that bad cold. So our apologies. And yeah, we won't have any more horn tonight, so don't worry. You can keep the volume up some. Don't want to deafen anybody. <laughs> Pancake. Ooh. We love you guys, Big Or family. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm all over pancakes. So yeah, that looks awesome. Great to see you. Miss Classy 26, great to see you. <laughs> yep, same with the horn. <laughs> Casey says, don't worry, guys. The big bad horn has gone away, I promise. Uh, Aromic Suds, my cat enjoying the quiet voices tonight. Pusha Studies, you put them to sleep. Oh, I hope we don't put you guys all to sleep. My cats are asleep, but <laughs> unreal. So self-centered. <laughs> no, no, this is for my influencer uh, profile. Oh, he's like everyone with center of attention. Let it go, look down. Oh my God, that's a great setup you got there. That's really awesome. Wow. Very nice, man. The video calling show really looks fantastic. I love it. I love the two vertical ones. In that. Let's, let's see what we got going on here. The early kit in. Look at that. Gamers Against Seizures, guys. Raising uh, money for charity, so. How beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. It is very cool. I like that a lot. So, guys, uh, if you get a chance, uh, check out the early kit in. And Gamers Against Seizures, a really great cause. Love that you're doing that. Half of my profits will go to Josh at Josh Provides, who has helped supply seizure alert devices, response dogs, and more. That's very cool of you. Hats off to you. Oh my God, there they are, Life Through Lens there, Mr. and Mrs. Lens. I'm so good to see you guys. Such an awesome couple. Guest on our first season, uh, a channel that just is, it was, he was back then, uh, Japanese Lifestyle UK. Uh, he was sourcing out the Japanese lifestyle while living in the UK and now has just picked up the camera and uh, making history. So great to see you here. And uh, welcome aboard live. <laughs> With Pusha ASMR or taking uh, taking off on flight. Come check it out. That's right. Isn't that just beautiful? See? It all works out in the end. Yes. And I'm not blurry. Yes. Surprising. She was hoping. She's like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. One thing. Oh, we love you guys too. Like I said, anything pancakes, I'm sold. Sold, sold, sold. Oh, it's good to have all you guys in here. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, uh, sorry the levels are a little low, but uh, hope you guys are enjoying yourselves nonetheless. Please don't forget to hit the like button, tweet it out, tell friends, and all that great stuff, and uh, help us get out the word. Also, too, it's not too late for selfies. We'll go back and check in a while, so have no fear. And also, again, the music is in the house, and that's the music that we are choosing all throughout our season, too. Definitely. Check out if you're in need of free copyright for your audio files for your videos and your free music in the house. Spence Entertainment, hello. How are you doing? I know how there have been some problems with YouTube. Hope, uh, hope they hear you. Well, keep going. And uh, my diary, hello and welcome here. This sounds much better. I uh, just brought back the bass song. That'll, just because when you're stuffed up, you're already, your voice gets bass here naturally. And so. RCDT, our sound is not normal today because my voice is off and Andrew's is not. So we try to level it out. Yeah, I don't want to talk too loud and overpower with her talking, so. No, it's not our mics. It's me. It's my voice. We're sick and on the job. I should have put the disclaimer on. <laughs> oh, no, oh, on the thumbnail. <laughs> Um, thank you for the concern though thank you thank you so much uh, well guys I'm you know I, I'm not bed bound it's just my voice so therefore we, we can still go on 
and, and chat with you guys today and today is everything about youtube photo video editing all the questions about new guidelines that we covered last week in two that's right two live streams last week any of that uh, questions just a reminder if you ask a question to us put at push studio or hashtag push studio if you're on your phone so colors orange and i can copy and save it and we'll uh, try to get uh, to it uh, through the show. You're more than welcome to put your suggestions in the chat uh, to the answers as well. This is, um, we're not experts here. We're all trying to, to learn together, be together, and then learn from each other. That's right, guys. We are all in it together. Cannot stress that enough. So, oh God, our sound is... It's I'm trying to even us out tonight. I'm really trying hard. It's, it's sound tricky. Bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I could put in tags, you know like horse voice or something like that uh <laughs> you're very quiet it sounds like you're not feeling well yes i'm not feeling well but thank you so much okay that's a well I'm, I'm just checking one last thing i'm just and then we're gonna get to it so we gotta i, I think this is a great first opener it wasn't really a question but i will make it a question uh, uh anna uber says i'm thinking of doing my first live stream sometime soon and it's just kind of scary and i think we get this question uh time to time uh, you know, I want to live stream and I haven't done it yet. Um, what I'm supposed to do, how to do it. I'm scared. I'm nervous. And believe me, we were scared as well, especially because we were not in the videos whatsoever. Our job is behind the lens. So going live was a huge step out of our comfort zone. So what we, I can suggest personally is that uh, tell a couple of your, uh, your best friends on YouTube when you're going live so at least you have uh, those couple people that are already are going to be there before you s like start live they're going to be there and you don't have to hang around in the empty room and then uh, even if you have like two people there throughout all of your live stream hang on there and treat it like it would be a people of you know room full of 100 people um it's not about the amount of people that come it's about the quality of entertainment that you are giving uh, even if you're just chatting with them pay attention to the camera talk uh, to them uh, no matter how many are there and I think once you start your stress is gonna go away it's just stepping over that edge and uh, after that it gets addictive so yeah a warning it's gonna be addictive <laughs> <laughs> it's true yeah this is true we learned that most definitely so we started on March 29th and we haven't stopped yet Nope. <laughs> On no. a couple occasions with vacation, but other than that, uh, we yes, we're going to be celebrating our first year anniversary of our live shows on the 29th, and uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is addictive. Up, up, and away, folks. Up, up, and away. That's right. Oh, tweeted out stream. Hope you f you get better, better half. <laughs> Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. All right. Do we have any other questions to start? Uh, no, not yet. We were just chatting about going live stream. Mm. What are your suggestions about going live stream? Um, it you're never gonna know till you try it. It's always gonna anything new is always gonna give you nerves. That's normal. And if you've been on here for more than a week, there's a couple of people that are following you that are curious to know more about you. So you don't have to worry about nobody showing up. I mean, there's gonna be somebody come along. Uh, I'm on the other side though uh, Live streaming is a great thing We're doing it Can't sit there and say Oh we like it Nobody else do it But make sure it's for you Make sure you have something to say I One thing My one pet peeve That drives me crazy Is I'm watching them And I'm like Yep They're trying to build up watch time And a lot do say that Yeah I'm going to be on for a while uh, Trying to get those 4,000 hours in you know that's it's a lot it's a lot so yeah i decided to do a live stream because you know gotta get those four thousand hours and, and it's the worst thing in the world to do uh, nobody wants to be used nobody wants their time wasted their time is too valuable and even the best two friends that are hanging around with you when you're saying that because they want to see you get through it they're eventually going to get upset about it as well Put the same love into a live stream you would into a video. Make it as engaging as possible. And that's the start to it. Yeah, I, I know, Ralph. I, I, I agree with you. That is quite common. And I mean, we jump around and I see that. And it's it's not the right. Even if you did get your 4,000 hours that way, 
what are you going to do when you get there? Like, what's the game plan then even after that? Is things going to change and all of a sudden it's going to get very exciting? Are you not going to do live streams ever at all? I mean, by then, you've chased away a good bit of your audience by not doing... Because if you're just doing it for that, you know, there's not much content. There's not much to keep people coming back. It's already hard, hard enough to, to uh, work with the evergreen uh, content ID on live stream. So they really take a lot of work. It seems like the easier one. Oh, I don't have to go and film. I don't have to go edit. I just turn on the camera and go. But will it be engaging enough? And that's something you really honestly have to ask yourselves. You know, it, 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 can I can I bring something to the table? And you do. If you truly want to do live streams, you will. If you're in a niche, talk about your niche. Good place to start is just to start tell people a little bit more about yourself. Oh, I, why I got into this? See these videos that you made? I got into these because this happened. And when I was a boy, I noticed this. And anything that will help people connect with you more will be a good thing. So just talk about it first. Consider it a bit like a secondary interview for a company where you just kind of sit in front of them, telling them more about your life story and stuff like that. Never give away too much, please. I, I seen one the other day that got pretty, and I learned it's, it's so genuine and honest, but it was so bad for if anybody has trolls and that. So guard your privacy. Do not shoot in anywhere where they can identify, <coughs> and if, uh, identify the outside of your home or anything like that. Don't talk about your last name. Don't uh, give out personal information. Make sure, just cover your base on that stuff. Stacy, here we grow again. So good to see you. How are you? Casey, did we get what? Um, excuse me, I don't understand the question. I think she asked if we got her. her, her uh, Casey asked if we got the question. No, I didn't. So that's why I'm asking. Yeah, if you can just repost it. Or Usually, I answer back if I got your question. So it probably went by somewhere. Please try to put out push studio so I can see it better. Espen's in here. How are you, the Viking and dogs? How are you? Good to see you, my friend. And know. Uber, sorry. Uh, yes, it <laughs> says it got my first dislike on a video, and my mom was so sad. Uh. Yeah, well, um, you know, um, we talked about that as well. Uh, getting dislikes is fine. First of all, I mean, people, not everybody is going to like what you're doing. It's the same as in the real world. Do you want everybody to like you? Like, it would be boring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, and people have the right to dislike things uh, if it's constructive. Yeah. Uh, but we are against it, and why you have noticed that you don't see the ratings of the viewers under our videos is uh, because of... Um, um, lately of uh, dislike mobs uh, coming into different uh, channels and even YouTube has addressed that as well so we uh, joined the movement of um, not showing that and not giving them the power to harass channels um, but uh, you know having a couple dislikes don't get upset it has yeah. nothing to do with you personally it's okay uh, you don't have to be loved by everybody there are millions of people watching billions of people watching on YouTube uh, eventually it's going to be somebody that it's not just not going to be for them. You know. The most liberating day on YouTube is the day that we realize that we're not for everybody. And that's actually very, very constructive because that means you have a path for your channel. And without a path for your channel, it's almost impossible to grow in here. That's one thing in the one all we talked last night with big YouTubers. All of them are like entrepreneurs in life. When they start out, they have it. They, they might not find it right away, but when they have it, they're going for it. And you got to at some point find a way that your channel has that path. And part of your path is your demographic. We know ours very well. 25 to 45 is where we shine. Uh, we're about the average of men and women in YouTube, which is 70, 30. We're right in that zone, which is what we're happy with. It didn't happen overnight. We cannot cater to everybody. And if we're doing that kind of content, chances are... 13 and un 17 and under are not going to find this very appealing 17 to 25 they're gonna be, there's always exceptions to the rule you're gonna get a little bit of trail off into it but we're talking about your main path and that's what you got to find for yourself what works for you and some people have a problem with it and they hit the dislike button if it's just a couple like you said that's engagement that's fine it uh i seen nomadic bike you know i've gotten 68 likes it was bots but dislikes nonetheless but still of got course that you're not too old for us we're oh. talking about the <laughs> mm -hmm. we're talking about the uh, average of analytics that yes. show we still have on both ends. we have viewers on both ends 
uh, we talk about the graph and the analytics and you can look at yours as well you're gonna see the pattern of average uh, you know viewer male female the gender where they come from and all of that we definitely welcome anybody over many um age profile for sure definitely of course no no and that's why i said there's some trail off in each sides but you gotta have some sort of path like you know I have we have some uh, 14 16 year olds in here who behave better than some 50 year olds that are more mature and get it and what we do that there's no written law about it but you still need to follow some generalized path into it <laughs> and yes anybody is welcome as long as they enjoy what we do we're ha more than happy to have them in here Tim S how are you good to see you I right away want to answer Ralph Barton not sure um I know if Panity comes in, I think they use smart TV. And if anybody right right now are watching us on their smart TV, maybe they can answer Ralph Barton, who can't seem to get our live stream working on the smart TV. So if you're watching us on the smart TV, let uh, Ralph Barton know what you're doing uh, in order for it to work. <coughs> oh, thank you, 400 AGL. Definitely going to check them out in a bit. Thank you so very much. And thank you, Video Call-In Show, for letting Just Juju know. Use uh, at Pucha Studios on your questions so we can see you, please. Yes, thank you very much. Because, guys, as the chat's going by, it's hard for us to pick it out. So if it's a question for us, just put at Pucha Studios in front of it so we can see it because it will turn orange. And then we won't miss your questions. So. And usually if I get to your question, I answer you back that I have seen it. So <laughs> that's the best way to know it. I just stopped posting it. Let's see here. Oh, the Shiner guy, how, oh, sorry, I was, going back. let me go back and get you as well there, I'll give you a wrench, good to see you, good to see you, once again guys, MU Free Music playing, you're looking for music for your videos and that, this is a great place to get it, you know it's coming right from the source, so you just have to put a thank you credit into the, your description, that's not much to ask, so definitely can find lots of great music. The Shiner guy, hello and welcome here. Sty North, Sty North, great to see you. Oh, Sprue, good to see you. Oh my god, oh my god, up north of 60s in here. Guys, this channel is freaking amazing. Up north 60, I, I'm gonna get in touch with you. I uh, would love to have you on as a guest. I am so in love with your channel. Uh, we met in whose stream was it? Maybe Cole Outdoors? I forget now. But, uh, awesome channel really really awesome i showed xenia the yes yeah. i remember yeah that would be awesome to have you on for sure definitely and fellow canadian that just the icing on the cake so great to have you in here i hope that you said it was temporary and i can't wait till you're making vids again so much interesting stuff i love that lifestyle too i'll get there one day i've done all the provinces i've done the territories but it is coming mark my words it's coming <laughs> Uh, Aspen, if you can repeat that, I would do appreciate that. If it's something you want to see, you can keep posting it till I see it. If I, if that's a question. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I, sometimes when we get answering and we get all windows open, we do apologize. Um. Okay, so there is a question uh, that kind of goes together. It was just Anne was asking. Uh, my diary was saying, don't um, people don't watch videos. I have only six hour watch time. How to increase watch time? And then Ann Uber said uh, that my last couple of videos have gotten such a low amount of views and it's so annoying uh, how to get it better. So it kind of goes into the same question. Yep. You want to start off with telling everything else? Is that not yeah, a little playlist? It's, it's really it? important to optimize your videos. Um, that's one thing, uh, especially when you are a smaller channel. You're one of the biggest ways of how you can get your views is get into the search and discovery of uh, YouTube so search uh, would be um, when people actually look for a certain theme or like whatever your video is about let's say your video is about how to I don't know make good coffee okay so if somebody is gonna be uh, searching for uh, good coffee or how to make coffee um, you want your video come up in that first page of search that would be search and then is a discovery part. Discovery part is the part where YouTube itself is suggesting your videos to the certain type of audience, depending on how you optimize your video. 
and uh, and that's where it gets tricky but at the same time a really smart and uh in advantage to you if you're actually doing it if you don't do this part that i'm going to talk about uh you actually don't really get uh, put into discovery you do discovery suggested videos discovery is your home page <coughs> and uh, all, all, of, all of that recommended videos uh you got to put optimization and um, optimization in short is basically doing all the best practices and if you want to make it easier download vidiq or tubebuddy i can use free versions of both or each of them go through the best practices you need a good uh, title you need a great thumbnail that's top things and then you need a description that is a very nice and blog style description not one word blog style description that includes your title and your tags so yes you do need tags as well mm. uh, so when you optimize that and this is very really short explanation of what it means because we usually go deeper into other questions about that as well you get more discovery you get more uh, more found through search so it's not only that your subscribers are clicking on your videos but other people as well that then eventually can become your subscribers so that's something that you definitely have to do. And oftentimes when people are um, messaging us, can you help my channel? And I go and, and, and look at their channel. Lots of these things are not done. Well, mm. you know, that's the first thing you have to do. And then if afterwards, after doing it systematically for, you know, some time, doing it systematically over and over on every of your video, redoing your old videos, it is still doesn't work, uh, well, then then we got to look at something else and, and figure out different other things but that's the first and foremost thing that you can do um, it takes time but it's worth it uh, it takes a little bit of research it's worth it um, we always talk about that through our shout out nights as well when we are looking through uh, the content of the page we always talk about how people can optimize better their videos uh, the channel as well so that's one of the answers for how to get more views uh, so many awesome channels in here. Is there a limit to watch? Oh, okay. So uh, I'm going to go right into uh, the other way. Watch time, watch time. Everybody asks about watch time. And the first answer, of course, is, oh, I'm going to do a live stream. We touched on that just a few minutes ago. If you're doing live streams just to get watch time, you might get it, but you're not going to have much of an audience left by the time you hit the famous 4,000. Remember, guys, I don't, I know I come off sometimes. This is a bit, uh, uh, I don't want to use the term from Seinfeld because I might get us, <laughs> but about the 1,000, 4,000, because I feel like it makes people take a lot of chances and skip a lot of quality in what they do to reach that 1K, 4K. It's, it's got to get there. I do believe in being monetized. Yes, you don't get rich all of it, but it's good to have the chance to uh, be able to have a rep in case something goes wrong and all this stuff. It is a good reason to want to go there. But you don't want to ruin your channel in the midst of doing so. If you're going towards live streams and you're going to start really doing them, realize the commitment you're making because sometimes it's not so easy to bring back your videos after. And if you're doing it solely for the sake of getting 4K hours, chances are you're not going to have as great a following as you had when you first started. If it's there to work in what you already do, it can be an amazing tool. And yes, you can get some really good watch time for it have something prepared to say treat live streams with as much love as you do any video make sure you're engaging and for the love of god i hope everybody hears this most sad part is we say these things the people that should hear it aren't around to hear it if you do not have something left to say don't drag it out bid everybody a fair adieu there's always another time and place don't drag it on an extra hour when 40 minutes into it you're completely tapped out because people will remember you more in that last 40 minutes than they ever did in the first 40 minutes. Just, it's okay to end it. It doesn't always have to be a marathon. And you can still do another one and still get some watch time. You're better off to leave people wanting more when you're still at your high and you're still engaging versus dragging it on and people just fading away, fading away, fading away. So that's a very big point. So yes, watch times are, uh, live streams are good for watch time if they're used properly they really can the other one we get a lot of is you know as well i do videos and i want watch time or i just want watch time in general and then we do channel reviews and i see it not done almost three quarters of the time 
And that is, and you're going to be like, oh, I've heard him say it before. The famous playlist on your homepage is so important for watch time, guys. So important. Why? As I've always called it, or I've been calling for a while, and it seems to have stuck. The video folder here, I want you to all think of it as your junk folder. This is where everything just gets dumped. There's three ways of seeing it. Most popular, newest, and oldest. Does that mean that's a great way for people to see your content or to see all the different categories you have and stuff? It's god awful for that. It's just digging and throwing it around. Secondly, say somebody says, oh, best hair artistry. That looks really awesome. Let's click on that. Even if they watch it the whole way through, by the time it's done, the chance of them recommending one, another one of your videos is not that big. The chance of them recommending somebody else's, uh, else's work is a lot bigger. Then they're gone off your channel. If they haven't hit the subscribe button, they're gone. They haven't only watched the one video. That said, if you put all your own playlists, remove all the ones that are made by YouTube, put in your own, Put in good search uh, descriptions that work for the algorithm and fill up all eight categories. That's how it stands right now. There's eight of them. Everything they click on here. So say they went right down the bottom like, she brought the 80s back to Montreal. That looks interesting. They click on it. My God, Tokyo Drew's in the house. How are you? Good to see you, my friend. Arctic Fox is back. Yes. It's good to see you as well. I pick my butt. Oh my uh, God, all kinds of great channels. And guys, I see some of the questions being answered in the chat as well. That's exactly it uh, that we're talking about. More than welcome to put your thoughts about the questions. Kelly Reynolds, good to see you. Good to see you guys all. Such a pleasure to have you all in. So yeah, if they click on this video here instead of the video folder, all these videos come after. So if they really get into what you're doing, they might watch 10 of your videos. Whereas the other one, they may get one, maybe a second one if it's recommended. So you're better off putting your best work, fill this up with good playlists, make it look nice, and have it here. And you can sometimes get, a, you know, tons and tons of watch time out of it. How many people here have watched, started watching a video of somebody else's and then left for supper? Or went to, fell asleep watching them? Or uh, started watching a video and went out of the house? Or out of the, out of the room that the computer's into? And these keep running and running and running and running. And there's another great way for watch time. So there, those are really great ways to do it. And they don't take very long. You could do all this here in, what, 30 minutes on a homepage. And that's if you don't have any playlists made already. And I say it time and time again. And a lot I go to still, there's, I don't see it. This pushes, this, uh, uh, it doesn't like the term, but I call it that YouTube hack that we found out about. Where you get because we always say get rid of the ones that YouTube offers. So like the uploads one of your own page, we got rid of that. We already had it gone, but we this time we made a new one called your channel name. Exactly how it's spelled. So copy it. Go right across it and copy it to make sure it's exact. So there's no mistakes. That space, nothing else, just a space and uploads with a capital U. Once again, then there's a, that's where you wrote your title. Right underneath them is a place to put the description. Write in a one or two line description into it about that playlist. Dump all the videos into it and have it automatically add all videos that you create. Put it on your homepage. And wow, man, the watch time from it is incredible. It's grown to be our biggest watch. Uh, pl it is our biggest now, right? By far? Um, yeah. I yes. think. Or there's one other one beating it because it's been out for a while. But it's like it's been phenomenal. It doesn't take very long to do these things, guys. Yeah, for the same amount of time that it has been up there, it is the best one right yep. now. Yeah, for the time per capita. Yeah. Yep. So there, there's the answers right there. That right off the top, guys. Those are two that are. It's, it's uh, they're no brainers. I pick my butt. Great. There's an example. He does that. He's, I pick my butt. How has your uh, page been working since you started having all uh, playlists on your home page? Here we go. And what he said too was, is like he often time fall asleep with a, play, a playlist on, exactly. which happens, I think, to lots of us as well. So yeah. it's, it's not, I actually do that. I go on the video in the play all playlist uh, or uploads playlist because I know if I fall asleep, it's just gonna keep playing. So it might as well benefit. Exactly. Uh, somebody for sure. There you go, guys. See, there's another person putting it into practice. He's been doing it for a while now. 
I see you're missing one descriptive uh, sentence. Not nitpicking, but since I'm here under your live stream. I think my butt says doubling my views in the past week. That's cool. There you go. I mean, how much more can you ask for that? <laughs> you know? And more than a higher railroad action. What are you confused for? Let us know. We would like to clarify it. Uh, Frozen Fury, hello. How are you, my friend? Great to see you. Great to see you. Uh, maybe don't admit to picking your butt. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Bucks well. Uh, Kings of Darwin. Pooch do that. Watch a playlist, cooking dinner, and doing the dish. Exactly. Lots of people are doing that because they get onto it. And that's the nice thing about a playlist. You're guaranteed that as long as they don't physically stop it, your video will proceed next. And by that time, if you watch, if they watch nine of your videos, ten of your videos, that one playlist, most chances are it's going to recommend another video from that creator when it's done. And they can just daisy chain from there. And that's a great way to build watch time. It's a great way to build new subscribers. They, they, they've gotten to know you that much better. Because sometimes even they do that. And then they got other things going like watching the dishes. And that's a great example. By then yeah. they're hooked. You had a captive audience. So I'll explain again about the upload uh, <coughs> playlist. So what it does, it basically uh, mimics your default upload playlist that YouTube gives you. Okay, It's not something that you created. It's YouTube's giving you the most popular and uploads playlist. So instead of uh, featuring the default upload playlist, you mimic you and create it your own. Uh, you write your channel name, space, uploads. You write a description in it. And then you add all of the videos that you have on your channel, starting with the newest one. You can add it like automatically, the newest one there. And then you feature it on your homepage. What it does is it gives you a chance to customize the all uploads playlist with the description and your channel name and a description that contains the keywords of your channel so that way it's gonna come up in a search more uh, people are gonna see it more it, it it's not per se a hack but it's a smarter way of doing it and it has worked for many people i just want to say good night i pick my butt i've got to run me and my wife dedicate an hour a night with no electronics i'm 11 I minutes past you enjoy your night and give their best to the our best to the missus that's so awesome yes Oh, yes. No, I, I love that. Yes, mm. I'm you. Thank you so much. Tip, organize your videos and playlists. That's right. So I, I hope that uh, that clarified that as well. Uh, you can always go and check out other people's channels, for example. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for that. No, we're not, gonna, we're not done yet, guys. Don't worry. So you okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah. No, that was really sweet. That's, that's why I wanted to call that. That was nice to see them write that. That's cool. Good you guys keep to it. We'll have to try that sometime. Yeah. I want to dedicate an hour in, of my night to my wife's uh, electronics, the old battery operated one. Yeah, I actually have a radio on my nightstand that is solar battery operated. <laughs> <laughs> Which is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually true. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> well, it yes. looks like yeah, exactly. Frozen <laughs> Fury. We're a little bit off. Uh, Northern Ohio Railroad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you have any questions after when you try to do that, let us know. <coughs> <laughs> okay. So next question we have here. Okay. Case. Oh, uh, uh, before you do, uh, spent, uh, uh, Madison. I cut off the first party's name uh, from uh, Norway. I sent a wine bottle I brewed. Got to see the winner. Natural ice, open live, awesome. I guess he wanted to shorten it down for the first time. He had to type it in. Uh, so I, I, I want to say congratulations because it sounds like a good thing. <laughs> that's what yeah. I want to do. It sounds like an awesome time. And if you got to meet the winner, that's really cool. If I got that part of it, that's awesome. Thank you, Frozen, for your. <clears throat> yeah, he's just having a rough go of it tonight, guys. Uh, we're probably not going to stay on as long as we usually do. Probably another, like, end off this hour, and then we'll kind of close curtains and give her throat some time to heal because I, I, f <laughs> I feel weird saying that because I know what she's thinking. Like, your husband usually wants you to be like this, but 
we got a live stream to run, so I got to try and get her back oh, in a good help. It's not my health, guys. It's because we have live stream tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. They were going to fight now. What do you mean by that? Stop saying stuff like that. What's going on like that? He did it to get uh, ice cream. Uh, uh, he yes, almost I knew that it would let him say anything he wants now <laughs> because he got <laughs> a huge you got to cut my hair soon because I'm always looking like baby eagle in here after you play with my hair. If you would watch the Strong Outdoors uh, channel on yeah. Saturday, you, yeah. you have seen various haircuts that I have made <laughs> during the live stream right there. That, that, that's nice. Uh, go get some <laughs> rest. Yeah, well, well, we will. We will. But we're still here. <laughs> this is okay, now. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> what is she doing to me? Well, no, this is not better. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, this is better than the eagle's nest that was there before. Well, I need you to cut my hair. Yes, I, I can do that now. Like, I will pull out the live. Let's cut Andrew's hair. Oh, <gasps> that's a good idea for tomorrow. Okay, day vlogs. Hello, Towns and Die. Hello, Sticky Pots, Sticky Pots. Mm, yeah. And uh, we're gonna. There, I just combed it again. We're gonna. <laughs> oh, this is oh, this is awful. Um, we're gonna look at the selfies as well. People want to oh look at God. the selfies. What are you doing? <laughs> what, am I in an '80s video? What seriously? Take on me. <laughs> I I just joined flock of seagulls. Uh, fuzzy was it with me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so Jay Vlogs, how are you? <laughs> Getting hair tips here. <laughs> yeah, we might do it live. It's a good idea. I like that. <laughs> that will go well. Good idea. Yeah. See, live cutting Andrew's hair. <gasps> oh, sure. Everybody's enjoys it. Everybody's going to be chiming into oh, that. Thanks a lot, Frost. <laughs> thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Jay Chiquatics in here. Jay one of our past guests as well. Welcome here. Great to see you another doing? channel that's doing amazing, oh, guys. Oh, we'll go check him out, yes. Such a great guy. Uh, so professional. Uh, so optimistic, too. He's a yes. for preservation of life and nature as well, not just the fish. This is very true. Oh my, holy crap, you're at 11. You passed 11. Yeah, awesome. I knew you were over 10. That, that, he was, what, 7.6 or something when we had him on, That's like, scary. after. Awesome. That's Designed by V. Hello. Welcome back. Six forwards. Hello. Hi, Quiz Mike. Soft voices are not by choice. I'm a bit under the weather today. <laughs> it looked good up onto <laughs> the side. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Frost. <laughs> I'm aware of the words. <laughs> I'm working on 12. Ga That's awesome. Uh, congratulations to you. Congratulations. Well deserved you. and more than that. You do. You work very hard at what you do and total props and respect to you for it. So. And that's right. Uh, so we can either get to the next question or look at the selfies that people ask for. Yeah, we'll do the selfies. We'll okay. do a break for a sec. Let's see what we got going on here. Remember, guys, it's not too late to get your selfies out there if you haven't posted them already. Uh, selfie of you watching us. If you can't do that, selfie of you. Link's going to be in the description. Please use the hashtag Blue Wrench Group so everybody can see what you got going on. Uh, as soon as I can post it. And I have to hold my mouse better. There we go. That'll, that should fix a lot of problems. There you go, guys. And in the meantime, please tweet it out. Hit that like button. Tell friends all that great stuff, guys. Uh, da, 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 da. I, I just went check there. I have no idea. We have Vexy, Vexy Core, Vexy, Vexy Core. I hope you feel better soon. Blue Wrench Group. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Very sweet as always, Vexy. Oh, crap, my damn man. Hey, guys, push the Uh Heading live, live stream, eating videos, and watching. Thank you so much for watching the kids play. Well, thank you so very much. Glad you guys are all watching. Big hi to you guys, all of you. So great to see you. Awesome. Congratulations, Frozen mm -hmm. Fury. That is awesome. Congratulations, Mel. You got this, man. You got this. Very well done. Yes. Also our past guests. That's right. Phenomenal guitar player, guys. Frozen Fury. Phenomenal guitar player. Sticky Buds 420. Sticky Buds, Sticky Buds. Oh, sorry. Sticky Buds, Sticky Buds. Sticky Buds, Sticky Buds, Sticky Buds. That's right, guys. We got Sticky Buds up here. Boost to YouTube tips. 2019. How do you do? 
Tech Talk Tuesday Input Studios. Love it, my friend. Look at that merch. I mean, how amazing is that? You know why it's amazing? Because it's uh, Sticky Buds. And I'm partial because I love Sticky Buds. I love the little gif that he had the other day that it was changing through. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Yeah, was sweet. One of the cool... I, I don't know. I just love the whole... Since the, oh, my God. Speaking of cool, look who's in here. Kimber Kiss is here. Kimber Kiss is here. Hey, hello. Uh, oh, Kings of Darwin. You guys need to be on when I'm not at work, LOL, so I can... Concentrate on what's happening. <laughs> we don't want to cause you any problems at work. That's for sure. Oh, we're always at the same time, yeah. except for Thursdays at 1 that's p.m. Right. But usually we're on it every day from Sunday to Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. It's always the same time. Jage Aquatics uh, has a fish keeping convention at the end of the month with a huge YouTube booth. That's going to be sweet. Yes. Uh, are you going to be live streaming again from there? That would be so cool. That's amazing. Love oh you're you're on the other side of the world. Hey Kings in Darwin. Mm. Love it. Xen will be asking lots of you can tell the future and all that stuff, so just smile politely. Well one a one PM Eastern might be your evening then live stream. That's on Thursdays. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Sergeant Slaughter Slot Machine, YouTube Tips 2019. Thank you so much, my friend. Loving it. Loving the glitch. I always love glitch effects. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, go back into the questions. Yeah, yeah, and uh, they are from Australia, so we love Australia. That's we have right. uh, numerous guests from Australia. It's so a special love with Australia going on this year. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we do. Well, they're just great people. Yes, they Australia are. Australia and New Zealand. And I do always ask, how is it? So <laughs> how is it on Thursday? Um, okay. So <laughs> <laughs> it's Wednesday morning, not much happens. <laughs> 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 that's awesome what a great answer yes um okay so on nicole d you're from norway as well oh we love norway i hope you met espen as from there as well oh okay oh they're they've found each other well that's awesome and we love your country like Xin just said absolutely love it we <laughs> love matchmaking channels that's for sure yeah <laughs> um okay so we had a uh, question italy nicole d mm. Italy, yeah, that's somewhere we got to go. That's like one of the last two countries I got to visit. I've done from Iceland all the way down along the Russian border and that, and that's uh, saving the best for last, I guess. Mm -hmm. say. So. I think some travel is due this summer. You do? Uh, you do. <laughs> I crazy, yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. <laughs> okay, so we have a question from Casey Green. Thank you. Uh, what's the best way to do giveaways now? I was going to use Gleam to give away some products I received from a vendor. They said they're advising not to use them on YouTube anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, not precisely. And uh, uh, we I have mm -hmm. had... Uh, you okay? Yeah, okay. Uh, we have had a chat on Twitter with Gleam directly, actually, uh, when it all was happening. And uh, we also asked them to be on <coughs> our Tuesday Tech Talk, so they might be coming on at some point when it's going to be more clear. So number one, you are allowed to do giveaways. Number two, do go check the guidelines when you do. Number three, you can use Gleam, but you can't use Gleam uh, with an option of asking people to subscribe, share, or like any of your videos or channel. So what happening is that um, you can use third party um, websites. What you can't do is use third party websites to draw a winner if it incentivizes people to subscribe to your channel, to like your video or to share it. So any of if any of those actions are included, in, you know, for people to get part in your giveaway, then it's um, against the new guidelines. You can get a strike for it. So don't don't do it. Um, you might ask, well, how do I ch pick the winner then? TubeBuddy, the free version of TubeBuddy, has a option of picking randomly a winner from the comment of the video. Okay. Right now, YouTube doesn't have any options really itself. So what we are left to do is use TubeBuddy. It doesn't incentivize anything. And remember, you still can't do that. You still can't ask people to subscribe and all of that. So if you're doing the giveaway, you can do it. Just don't incentivize the people and pick random the winner, for example, using TubeBuddy. Um, if it's something that is sponsored for the giveaway, 
uh, remember to put a disclosure of that uh, in the description of the video as well as talk about it in the video if you uh, receive something for free or the giveaway sponsored or any of that that's also important um, so yeah that's that's the general rules but if you're not sure about something there is a giveaway subsection in the uh, guidelines that you can go to and always refer to Northern Ohio Railroad Action. Same question as Kimber Kiss. How will MU Free Music for your videos affect your channel with the new guidelines? Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, it, it won't change. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, uh, he was asking, and Kimber Kiss, uh, how will MU Free Music for your videos affect your channel and the new guidelines? Well, oh, we're good. Don't understand the question really. It doesn't yep. affect. Yeah, there's nothing that would tie in with that. It's fine. Uh, we're following his guidelines. I mean, of course, we have his permission. So, we'll, if there's any trouble, but we follow his guidelines as well. We put the link in, recommend uh, advising people where the music came from, and putting a link to his channel. And uh, yeah, there's no problem there whatsoever. Um, if I post, a, oh, there is a question. If I post a video with copyright music, will I get in trouble? Oh I'm yeah. Not monetized or anything, and it's just one video. Wasn't sure. That was a question. Okay, here's the thing, guys. <laughs> on all music. Stay away from published music at all cost. It is not worth it. Even if you're not, you will be monetized at some time. They can hit you later on. It can still give you trouble. You can st you, you just don't need the headaches with it. Public music this day and age is just too much headaches to deal with. Look at all these big, big channels that interview and talk about musicians. Almost none of them don't even play their music when they're interviewing them for that simple reason. Because a lot of times it's the record company owns the rights to music, not even the musicians themselves. They're blanket laws. Yes, it is cool to show your friends out on your four wheelers and Thunderstruck playing. It's not so cool when you get hit with a bunch of copyright strikes for it. It is just not worth it. Here with Meg, how are you? Stop by to say hello. Great to see you. Great to see you. And Debbie Debbie C as well. Stay away from copyright music. That's the message YouTube is trying to get through to everybody. They just don't want it anymore. It, 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 it's too much headaches for them. And if you have a copyright claim put against you, you don't deal with YouTube. You deal directly with the one who put in the copyright claim. So. Yeah, often people have misconception. Well, I'm not monetized. Why should I be uh, worried about uh, copyright strike? Thank, thank you, Crazy you, Worm. Lady. Emily. You're such a sweetheart, Emily. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Emily. Yeah, so mm -hmm. lots of people have this misconception that, well, I'm not monetized uh, yet yeah. or in general. Why should I be worried? Well, it has nothing to do if you're monetized nope. or not. You you can be monetized and not monetizing your videos. It still has nothing to do with it. It has to do with breaking the law mm -hmm. and getting a strike for it. It's yep. not it's not affecting directly your monetization. It's as a consequence to say if you are. But uh, even if you have ten subscribers, it's still gonna affect you because you can get a strike. Look who just walked in the house. Ooh. Oh my God, Jim Apple's in here. Everybody's wondering why we are making such a fuss. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. You know, we, we take pride in, in making trolls into actual <laughs> creators and viewers. <laughs> yes. And uh, Jim Apple entered our world uh, months ago when we were very tiny yep. as a troll, <laughs> I must say. And uh, we were very happy to see him coming back as a person. That's right. And uh, we loved seeing you. And uh, we wondered actually what was going on with you. So we're so happy to see you back. I hope you are doing better than the last time when you were here. Yes, yes. I really hope so. So good to see you. What a nice surprise to see you. I hope you're doing well, my friend. And Snoop Eats is in the house. Well, I couldn't be more happier. How's it going, my friend? Great to see you. Great to see you. I hope you're doing well. Another channel that's really grown. Uh, much love to you, buddy. Uh, I, I don't even get a home like that. Well, I don't even get a welcome like that when I go home at night. Uh, Kings of Darwin says, <laughs> "Yeah, we haven't seen uh, we haven't seen Jim uh, Jim Apple in a while, man. That's awesome, cool, really good to see you." What coffee do we drink? Well, we used to have K cups, but we drink so much it's just not feasible. That's so we right. just have a regular uh, what is it? Percolator coffee. Yeah. Pot. We're, the next round is we're going to actually have it infused into us. <laughs> yeah. We're going to start getting infusions. <laughs> Do uh, it that way. Because it's 24-7. In the main line, some uh, dark roast. That's right. <laughs> uh, we have a video that used trailers. Wipe at home. We're claimed and won't be able to monetize. 
uh, well, uh, you can, uh, again, it's hard to say without the details, but yeah. there's lots of videos that might be claimed for a shared revenue uh, or the claim claimed copyright um, and a strike for copyright are two different things, okay? You can still have a notice of claim, which doesn't affect your channel, uh, only for monetization, if even. Um, and then a strike is a strike. Strike is it affects your channel directly. So if you just get a claim, it's not a strike. It's two different things. Yeah. And there are false claims going out. There are places, just uh, they're, they're fraudulent. They take a lot of stuff that is uh, shareable, like, and they'll go and put a claim onto it, and they never do a copyright strike because they want to earn a little bit of money that comes off each video because they do it to hundreds of thousands of videos and end up making a good thievery on it. It is hard to fight. Be careful with it because something they can turn around and threaten you with a full on copyright strike to use it as leverage. Sometimes it's better just to remove it and go. But as I always tell people, uh, I guess I should show them again. Yeah. And while you're getting to that, I'm just going to quickly cover that. Uh, should I pull down the video if it has copyright music? You can actually remove the music. Yeah. Uh, you can go to the editor. YouTube has editor, by the way, and it's much more friendly on a better version where you can uh, actually remove the parts that uh, might be copyrighted. But they'll even give you an option. If you go under copyright, it will show you the part and we'll ask you if you want to remove that section and you can even just remove it that way if you agree to it. They'll yes. just lift it off. But if you want to do like beforehand, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you can definitely do that, guys. So uh, remove it if you can, uh, you know. Uh, you can replace it with a, another audio file or just not have anything there. Um, YouTube allows to do that automatically as well. JH Aquatics is over 11,000 guys and he was saying that he only uses YouTube music. And once again, to get that, all you got to do is go to your creator studio down at the bottom, click on the create button, get your audio library of all kinds. These are f no worries in them. They're, they're here by YouTube's sake. You're as golden as you can be with them. You got to dig through them a little bit to find the good ones, but they are there. There are some really good ones to work with. And you can get that and even sound effects as well. And remember, there is a, there's some with attribution required and not required. What is attribution? Attribution is like MU Free Music. Say you want this song, you click onto it, and it will tell you what you have to do. And basically, you're going to copy this and paste it into your description. That's exactly what it is. So now you're saying I want to use uh, 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 copyrighted music and a, a popular music, whatever. There's no way around it. I still want to try it. Okay. If you insist, and even a lot of stuff that says it's shared, try to go and double check it here. Go to the same place under create, but instead of audio library, go to music policies. And this will save you a world of headache, folks. A world of headaches type in the song that you're looking for it should come up most times and it's going to tell you what you're allowed to do with that song on YouTube so let's take the first one that came up here the next episode uh, dr. Dre this song is not available for use on YouTube videos right away you can't use it now you know great way to save yourself a copyright strike right there took a couple of minutes Keep an eye where this is, guys, and make sure you use it because this will save you a lot of trouble. You've seen our Cheers video we did. We were wondering, I was wondering if I could use that song where everybody knows your name. That's what I did. So I went here and typed in uh, everybody, uh, oh, sorry, uh, everybody knows your name. And then we checked it. And we wanted to see if we were allowed to use it or not. Now, guys, remember there can be different names of the same of uh, have the same name but different songs. So make sure it's the right one. I know this is the guy who sang the Cheers, uh, the Cheers opening song. You click onto it. If you're using this song, and this is how I used it as a playback, I didn't cover it. Of course, this was the actual song. If you use the song, it's viewable worldwide, so I knew it could it would be seen everywhere monetization you can't monetize your video that means I was allowed to use it but all the money goes to them I felt safe with this one for the simple reason is it's a theme song and theme songs tend will always be perpetual uh, in perpetuity belong to the uh, the TV company so if they allow it now chance are that's not going to change 
And it says if you perform a cover of the song, that means you sing it yourself, do your own arrangement, stuff like that. Viewable worldwide, and it's el eligible for revenue sharing. It's there. Most people are not going to get the money, but it's worth a try sometimes. If you sang it, you can apply, and they can uh, find a percentage that they're willing to share with you of it because it's not fully... Uh, it's partly your creation based on theirs. So there's two good examples of how that works. And some of them will say like it's banned in so many countries, but most of them work that way. But make sure you pick the right song. Uh, Cause you see, uh, there could be cheers. There could be, here's uh, cheers from wild hearts. Here's uh, cheers from uh, big wig. Different song could be different rules. From big wig, it's not, you're not allowed to use it on YouTube. Let's see here. This one is, but it's the identical name, so make sure it's the right artist that you're looking at. And as one last note to that, make sure if it's a cover, you know, um, oh my God, when you're trying to think of one. Uh, uh, Lenny Kravis, uh, American Woman versus BTO is American Woman. If you're going with BTO, make sure you check for that one and not for the Lenny Kravis because they could have different rights of usage. So it's got to pertain to the version in that case that you're going to be using in your video. It, it just it's such a simple thing guys that can save you so much headaches because if it says that there it's there my argument about using copyright protected music is companies buy and sell catalogs of music all the time they can be tens of thousands uh one it doesn't mean the artists all the artists albums either it could be two of them in that catalog that they own when they were starting off and didn't have couldn't buy the rights to them and if they decide later on to uh block it you're going to get hit with the copyright strike down the road. So it's really better off to stay away from popular music at all costs. That's that's my opinion. Like, oh, oh, and one other thing, guys, that is uh, coming up sometimes where I said you can find this music, create, and you can get the YouTube music. This is fully usable in YouTube. No questions asked. You're, you're golden with them for using this. Please just remember that... It is only for YouTube. That doesn't mean you're not allowed to use it in any other platform. It is meant for YouTube and YouTube only, not on Facebook or anywhere else. So if you're planning to share your uh, videos around, you're going to be asking for trouble if you use it in other places. So just as a side note. Uh, crap, my dad makes some. Just wanted to tell you, if you already receive a strike, don't delete the video. Yes. It's not going to delete the strike. No. Lots of people get panicked and, oh, okay, I'm going to delete the video. It's not going to change anything. Uh, so don't do that, please. Hey there, Kentucky Catman Outdoors. Good to see you, my friend. Hope the you're doing well. Game Maniac is here as well. Hello. Good to see you as well. Gator Bites in the house. Hey, sister. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That's yes, and, and MQ Free Music was saying a good point. Yes, uh, you can get copyright strike not only for your music, but for your video content as well. Oh, yeah. You can now, because of the new guidelines, you can get copyright strike uh, for thumbnails, for a whole bunch of stuff. All the all the guidelines that are um, now implemented apply to anything. Text, everything on yeah. it as well. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. now it's not only the content uh, that can, uh, of your video that can get a strike, uh, mm. everything on your channel can get a strike so be careful copy this you can get a, a community strike you could also get blacklisted for uh, plagiarism so that falls into text so don't grab somebody else's description say oh i like the way they wrote it i'm going to use it and just change the names uh even if you don't get the community strike you can get blacklisted where youtube just doesn't recommend you to other users and it does happen a lot guys it does happen the people wonder why my video is not growing i'm putting out lots of content not seeing Sometimes they've gotten blacklisted and there's no <laughs> letter that comes and tells you. So you just basically fall off the map. So That's right. And guys, uh, we, we talked a little bit here about Christmas music. There's lots of songs that don't have a copyright uh, that have been produced before 1922. And actually, uh, U.S. Uh, has an archive full of these audio files uh, from before 1922, mm. which you can use as well. They are not uh, copyrighted. Um, because uh, it falls before the copyright law was taken into place. Uh, so you can uh, go and look for specific music there, like, for example, Christmas music that would be more specific to the season. Uh, we tried, uh, we looked for some when we were doing our Christmas specials, and that's exactly where we were going. Mm. Uh, so you can go and check it there. Just remember that renditions of it or remakes of it can be copyrighted. So look for the original of the song yeah, that's very tricky like orchestral music you hear yeah. a lot of that because i mean you know 
Beethoven's been dead for hundreds of years, but the 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 the, 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 the orchestra that last created it uh, recorded it in Germany in Hamburg somewhere. They're alive and kicking, and so is their uh, copyright on to what their version of it. So. And uh, when you do use that copyright-free song, uh, always put in the description where did you get it from. So then, in case if something does gets questioned, you always have that as your uh, defense mechanism, which always is your description. Uh, where you can actually say, okay, I, I took it out of this website, uh, it's copyright free, this is the original version, and not a cover, and so on. Fun fact, YouTube tends to favor music claims more because they don't want issues with Vivo. Since they have an agreement, Vivo can pull all the music off the site when they want. Well, they, yeah, well, they have a special agreement to within their own bounds, but it's not only Vivo. Mm -hmm. I mean, no. you, can, you can still have it. Uh, like the shared and then you see sometimes people have extended descriptions where they have a song and the writer and all of that so <coughs> I wouldn't say they favor it mm. there have been claims for sounds one of our guests had sound of shells falling into the bowl that uh, got copyright strike you know. sparkles for Lisa how are you <coughs> hello I've I've been not I have not been around lately but I'm here now well that's that's awesome and great to have you in here and hope you're having a really great day. It's nice to see you. Uh, Spark is for Lisa. Hello. Um, Jesse Robert, you know, the best way of doing it is actually writing your natural voice. So whatever comes out naturally, don't look up stuff. Just tell the story in your own voice. That can't be plagiarized and you can't be copywriting that because it's just the way you talk. And that's the best way to write any descriptions or anything like that is to use your own voice to it. Last night we talked a lot about going around, uh, going and seeing what the bigger ones are doing and getting bits and pieces. And the best way to do that is is let it sink when you do that. Because if you go right away and start, you're going to find yourself... It's like somebody writing like a guitarist. That happens a lot, you know. Oh, it's a cool riff. I love this riff. And then they say, well, yeah, but that sounds a lot like such and such. And that's because they've been listening to them for three days straight. It's so far in their head, they don't even realize that they're copying it almost. Look around, get inspired, but then walk back from it. Let all the dust settle and then go to the drawing board. I've said it time and time again. If you look at it black and white, pretty much everything's been done on YouTube for the most part that you can think of. There'll always be somebody that kind of opens a new one. The only thing left that we can be really original with is ourselves. And that's even the way we're writing about ourselves, the way we present ourselves the way we take our topic to the people all that all you have left to bank on to is using you and if you keep doing that and it sounds like kind of like an after school uh, speech in that part but it's not it's because if you're being you nobody else can bring to the table what you have and that's your own perspective and that way you'll never be complete you'll never be taking on somebody else's game the moment you start copying on here, right away you will always be compared to the person you copied because that happens anywhere in life. I bring up the example. Somebody says to me, like, oh, I don't like Bon Jovi. They all sound the same. No, a lot of bands sounded like Bon Jovi. You know, and that's one of trillions of those examples like that. You can think all the way up. Look at Peter McKinnon. I don't like Peter McKinnon. He does, you know, he's doing what everybody else is doing, B-roll shots. No, he should have started that whole phenomena. It's everybody else that come along that insisted on shooting like him. Um, Peter, uh, Casey Nice, all those big, those guys really take a lot of heat for it when they're really the ones that open up the doors and that stuff. And instead of people saying, I like what he does, now I'm making it my own, it's like, okay. And this is what they do. Some people, I know it, I can tell. Same song and everything. They're literally laying down like they download Casey's tracks, put them up, and almost like second to second match them up for this turn. Oh my God. He shot a B-roll there where he uh, turned, uh, Peter McKinnon, I should say for that one, turned the camera up on his side and pulled it across. Hun, get the car. We're going to do that shot. Come back in and lay it down. Now it's the next one, the next one. Well, of course, it's a carbon copy. <laughs> it, 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 it's, 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 and then it ruins it for everybody into that. Take the, what those guys do, but definitely find your own way to make it happen. You don't need to do it point for point. That's what made them big was being original. That's something that they have, is being original. At the time, they did something that really stood out from the crowd that got people to take notice. And that's what we got to do now as creators and what we're at on YouTube. And that's what makes for excellent content. 
when you wow somebody when they say man I never thought of it that way before huh I never seen somebody think of telling their story that way or informing me about this in such and such a way or doing that kind of a montage or mixing that kind of music into what they did make it your own that is where you're gonna be original then you never have to worry about stepping on anybody's toes you never have to worry about being compared to somebody else and that means people are gonna really value what you do uh, one thing I think you should do if you're going to use someone else's yes, videos. Yes, but that not you. always might work. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it can I still think get you. The, the safer way is if you want to do that, and I know one of our viewers, the Huntsman, does it. You go to the creator, you yep. ask them if you can use specific parts and uh, actually get them in writing to answer you that you can, and then you give a credit. So that way, if you get uh, that copyright claim or whatever it is, you, when you do appeal it to YouTube, you can send it back with that uh, writing that uh, from that creator that allows you to use it. Okay, and that's the safest way to do it. Just crediting, it it doesn't do anything. Okay, it doesn't uh, get you off the responsibility of using copyrighted protected uh, material. Like uh, the Huntsman, he was using a lot at the beginning uh, clips and compilations of other bigger YouTubers. He could do it because he got the permission beforehand in writing. So if and when he got any kind of claim from YouTube, right away he counterclaimed it with this paperwork and he was fine. So that's the safe way to do it. Okay. If I'm selling my pictures, I, I want money for it. I, I don't want just the credit. If there are pictures that I want to have a credit for, then I want a credit for it. But if I'm selling them, you know, you know, there is a difference. There is a difference before credit and being big paid for it and uh, permission and not. So definitely ask for permission. Uh, Jim Apple, uh, I got part of it. Sorry, I scrolled as far as I could. Sorry about that. I got from you're making new videos. Uh, do you still have us on Twitter? He had us on Twitter before. Yeah. Uh, there's a storm coming he was saying oh, okay okay sorry about that I, I missed some but I was seeing about you were saying you were starting to do a new video uh, download with your uh, cam your phone but you weren't used to it yet if it is that about video can you please just send me a DM so I can check it out after because I have a horrible memory and I don't want to miss it so I tell that to everybody all the time uh, it's the best way to remind us <laughs> there's an old folk song I love I want to do Ooh, folk songs can be really tricky uh, I did that with a, a, a native, uh, well, Aboriginal wedding, and it was uh, a amazing Mi'kmaq song. And I grabbed it because I knew the the uh, the groom loved it. Ended up, I was still kind of green on that stuff, and I grabbed and I got hit with a copyright claim onto it. So I was okay because I just grabbed a, a version that wasn't because I didn't know where to check back then, like I just showed you guys a while ago. Folk songs, you'd be very sort of traditional songs, and that can still cause you the same kind of misery. So be very careful. It depends who recorded it. Yeah, you definitely got to find the original of it and yep. search for the copyright uh, if it does. Anything after 1922 most likely is copyrighted. So unless you find the direct sentence where it says you're not, it's not, don't use it. Sparkles for Lisa. I had a hard day with my job today. I have to make some changes. Push the studios. Can you make money on YouTube? I'm new on YouTube, Sparkles for Lisa, Sparkles uh, for Lisa. Never bank on YouTube mm -hmm. to help you in any kind of income. It can only be just fringe. And even if you're selling stuff on the side, it is so volatile. It is not a place to bank your you, you, anything. That's it's it's not even a good sideline job. It's nothing. It's just so volatile. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't and us as well I mean we still video photography we're getting back in the season for it not don't just please I would never bank onto it and even a lot of youtubers are fifty hundred thousand are just starting to think of there's possibility to make you know it, it's not an easy road and it's, it, there's not much you can count on to on and it. especially if you already don't have something rolling on YouTube it's hard to quit and then start yeah. doing it unless well I don't know I mean it's possible theoretically yeah but I wouldn't be banking on it for sure. You can, we do uh, tell you guys that you can start doing your merch, affiliate links and all of that before you hit 1,000, 4,000. That's something that people don't think about. So you can start building all of that before you get the monetization. AdSense is definitely not something to bank on. It's a very tiny uh, income part of it. But it's, uh, th thank you. Uh, oh my God, tonight is just the night of the glitches. 
Okay. Uh, West Haven, thank you so much. Uh, Chad is, yeah, thank you so much. That's weird because it's uh, it's uh, locked in. I don't know what happened. Uh, email would count, yes. For for YouTube, email would count. I know for law, Facebook do answers don't count yet. <laughs> email does is apparently a legal document, but I'm not a lawyer. So if you want to have those questions uh, directly answered, you're probably going to ask the lawyer. But as far as we know, the email uh, does count and would be good enough uh, where you have the permission. Um, copycats are always 10 steps behind. Yeah, well, that's what you have to yeah, deal with it. I mean, that's what it is, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, they say that uh, copycat is a form of flattery. So. In, in a way, until it gets malicious, got to be very careful with it. Yeah, and no, I'm just trying to look at it in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> it diffi it's difficult to build a career off of just YouTube alone. Even the bigger creators have to get their money from other venues. Yeah, and you know, some of the bigger YouTubers, like there are YouTubers that has hundreds of millions of subscribers. Uh, um, tens of millions of subscribers, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> tens of millions of subscribers and has less income than the ones who have tens of thousands. Because it's not about ads, it's about sponsorship, it's about paid videos, it's about affiliate links, it's a lot of things besides core YouTube income that uh, makes them money. So not necessarily a bigger YouTuber is going to make more money than the smaller one, no. It's not always the case. And it heavily glitched, I had to stretch the hell out of it just to get to fit. <laughs> so, thank you very much for letting me know, I don't even know what happened. I think there's, uh, I just... I just did an update. That's what's causing all these friggin' problems. Because it asks if you want to update, and I forget every time. Because I'm like, oh, and the live stream's over, I'll update it. Mm -hmm. That's what's causing it. And I hit it by accident tonight. I meant to hit uh, remind me later. I hit OK, but and then it kicks in. That's what's probably going on tonight. Another great update from OBS that makes things 10 times more wonky or so. There you go. Oh my god, Gil Skills is in the house. Matt Cook, Oregon, how are you? Great to see you. Nero Trigger's in here. Wow, look at all these great channels coming in, guys. Good to see you. Good to see you. Such a pleasure. Thank you so yes. much for joining us. Noel Mayo, hello and welcome here. Uh, check out my first video on YouTube. It's not much and it's in reverse. <laughs> it's in <laughs> reverse. Can you please send us a reminder, Jim Apple? Just send us the link in Twitter, like DM us, because I'll definitely look at it after. But I know I'll forget, and I, I oh, really you have see. videos in general. I'm uh, oh cool. Wow, or that's if, so well, cool. If you got it open, we can watch them after. Yeah, I'll, I'll add it to the watch later list. That's what you guys do. We add it to watch later, and then we binge watch it. Forever Freaky Funko. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Okay, um, guys, I gotta ask you a question. Who believes in paying it forward here? Type number three if you believe in paying it forward. Let me do something here. Let's have a little fun. Let's have a little fun here. It's that kind of night. I want to do something fun. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking merch can bring an audience to your challenge. Yes, of course. Definitely. And merch is something that you don't have to do only when you are monetized. You can do it right from the get-go. You know, lots of people don't know it. Wish we could know that lots of all these things were available. There you go, guys. I like your spirit. Jim Apple, as Xenia said a while ago, and we're so glad to see him. It's been months since he's been around. He went through a lot of things. Guys, I need you to help me out. Here you go. Let's get Jim Apple over 100, guys. It's good to see him back in the races. And he started off, quite probably, I think we can say it, as a troll with us. Yeah. And now he's on not only back, but he's starting his own. He's making videos now, getting back into it. And I want to give him a little push, guys. So no, it's not a wheel time tonight or anything like that, but just a time to pay it forward, help somebody out. So there's the link for Jim Apple. Can you guys put him over 100? Let's cheer him on so he wants to make even more great content. He went from a troll to being one of our uh, good friends on here. Had some stuff he had to deal with going away for a while, and we're just really happy to see him back, so... If you haven't subscribed to Jim Apple yet, let's get him over 100. That's only nine more to go. <coughs> I'm not going to do the horn anything tonight. Xenia's feeling uh, pretty crappy. She's been a real trooper tonight to be on through all of this. But I believe in paying it forward. And uh, like I say, Jim came in kind of a, 
Uh, oh, no, no, I don't want to say a uh, holy terror, the expression, just that. No, but a it's wild one. one. A and wild that's one. why we always say, guys, don't hide people right away. Educate yep. them, yep. inform them, and they Sticky become good buds. friends. <laughs> Sticky buds is pushing for something. No. Oh, that's it, guys. 99. You're not supposed to have it till the end of the stream, remember? I don't remember saying that. Yeah, well, <laughs> people voted. <laughs> There you go, guys. One more to go. Let's just get them over. That's right. Boom. That's right, Frost. That's right. Very nice. Very nice. Paying it forward, guys, is the best way to live life. It really is. Mr. Moore, how are you? Great to see you. Dragons in the house as well. All kinds of great channels. Uh, let's see if this froze because you never know with it. But if not, guys, let's just take them right over 100. Uh, 100, you got the link again? Yes, I do. Yeah, and you posted in 404. There you go, 101. Congratulations to you. And if you haven't helped out Jim Apple, show him some love, guys. We're just giving him a, a boost here. He's back after a couple of months, and he's even up his game, and he wants to get into editing and that. He's got a couple of videos to get started. So hopefully that will encourage you, Jim Apple, to just take it to the next level and continue from there, my friend. Uh, oh, <laughs> kill skills. Uh, Cindy, it's been a terrible winter for sickness. I hope you feel better soon. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. She's laying it on thick now, folks. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are also not well. No, she's, uh, yeah, we've had the flu going around. It's our, and on top of it, it's spring break here. So, woohoo, spring break. And our daughter got violently ill, high fever for two and a half days. She even started to fever again today, a little bit all over. Our son now is walking around feeling half like a bag of crap. And Xenia is, uh, well, she's pretty much in that bag at this moment, feeling it. Mr. Moore, what's going on with you? Yeah. In West Haven, as uh, asking if you were sick. Mm. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Mm. Yeah, if you were on our Sunday stream, you could mm. see how we gradually just <laughs> declined as we were going through our live stream on Sunday. If somebody would put it in a time lapse, oh. it could like literally see it, it, us it, getting it, worse it, and worse. It was pathetic. It yeah, really it was. was. And it and it really is so bad that it is March break now. And, and you feel see, so bad for kids. On a side note as well, YouTube is still giving trouble, guys, once again. It's been showing us at 52 in here for the last 40 minutes. And that's what's been happening so much. That's why some of the big YouTubers, we keep saying the last week, have actually even stopped creating until YouTube gets it fixed. We've figured out we're losing about 25 to 30% of our viewership through the week right of this week because of it. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Moore. Flu-ridden and sore throat. That's exactly it. Machine is in a bag. Oh my god, we gotta help her. <laughs> That's right, nomadic bike. That's right. <laughs> oh my god, flatbed truckers in the house. How are you? Good to see you. See Pop as well. Got a couple of truckers in here loving it. Eileen, oh. thank you so much. Thank you. Um, mm. uh, this Aaron, if you still are there and for you guys if you want to look for the music if it does have a copyright like there was a question from folk song uh and you are in us you can always turn to this website which basically lets you search a song to see what kind of copyright does it have on it hmm. and nomadic bikes is uh xenia my phone's killing me <laughs> oh, that's not bad. good not good situation to be in you definitely don't want the phones killing yeah. you <laughs> that's uh, that's not a good place to be. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, I know. I crazy. Yeah. Well, you always can know that we are here at seven p.m. Eastern, no matter what. <laughs> As you can see, unless it's Thursday, then we are on at one p.m. All our schedule is in our about section, so you can always know when we are on. You can set up your own alarm on your phones. Uh, you have the flu. Aw, well, thank oh, you. Like yeah, I know. <laughs> Martin, I know. Uh, thanks, God. I, I have been sick, like, through the summer as well, and it's awful. Uh, Umka. Umka works great at getting you feel better. What is Umka? Recycle Dude, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. How are you doing tonight? Recycle Dude is in the house, guys. Oh, is it good? Ah, uh, thank you, I crazy. Glad you enjoyed yourself. Like I said, tonight we're not exactly fully a game here in this <coughs> house, 
but we still want to come on for a little bit and hang out with you guys. The Mitten Dad, how are you? G uh, great to see you as always, my friend. And uh, oh, you got to stop that gill skills. You did more than enough the other night. You're forbidden from touching that. You're good. You're good. <laughs> God help you. You're good. You Gil don't have skills. Thank you. You don't have to worry about that at all. <laughs> and Kings and Darwin, yes, I have to wait six hours for the live stream to show up. <laughs> oh, guys, Mitt and Dad, hello, good to see you too. Uh, Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. So oh, we, st we still have some questions. Yep, let's get to them. Uh, Nicole D asked, "How could I write my description on my channel?" Well, guys, in short, you can use something like we have, and I don't do it because we have all the answers. I do it because we know our channel, so we can give you. There are other ways to do it. Basically, and I'm going to show you again. Uh, still. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I'm glad you remember that. <laughs> I'm so glad you remember. Oh, thank you very much, West Haven. Always and forever. Thank you so very much for that. Hope you're having a great night. Thank you once again for uh, uh, supporting us. Um, there you go, guys. There's 200 characters. There's what you got to really. That's the one that's going to really nail it with YouTube, what you do. And that's what's got to be at the beginning of your description. That, that's what basically the size you're working with. That includes spaces and everything. It's not much to really sell yourself. So it's not the place to do a bunch of I hope you're doing well and it's great to meet you in that. It might seem rude. But you got to start off with what you do. In, uh, introductions come later. First part is the meat and bones of what this channel does and what people will get from it. And research search terms, work them into it as well. Make sure you work channel tags into it. And that's going to vary from channel to channel, whatever niche you're into, some researching into it. What are people looking for? If you're a travel channel, I'm just taking a quick example don't say we're a travel channel and we love the world and flying because you basically just use words that channels with 30 million subscribers down to one are using and you're never going to win into it yeah mark oh, no, Marty, no, Mike, Mike, you, oh you don't have to do that Come buddy. On. no no you don't have to do nomadic bike you've helped us a lot too you know it's a two-way street my friend you've always been good to us there's times where our channel's gotten lulls and you've gotten people together to come and check us out and all that kind of stuff. You just being here is more than paid your full to any way and same with us. <laughs> you yeah. guys don't have to do we that, do appreciate guys. appreciate it, but it's not necessary. No, just nice to have you guys in. And thank you for your patience with us, not feeling our best. Uh, just being here means a lot. So you're, you're, you're re that's really not kind of you, though. Thank you. Oh, God. Nomadic buddy. You're crazy, man. You don't have to do that. Just just love having you in here. Um, yeah, God, that threw me off. Uh, wow, well, thank you. That's so not necessary. Um, yeah, so just get into the nuts and bolts of what your channel is and, and find search terms. You're a travel channel. Stay away from the word travel and all this stuff. Instead, talk about we, uh, we visit uh, different places. Name off some of the places. You went to Tennessee. Great. Talk about a park that you visited there or a famous restaurant or a touristy area of that town. Uh, stuff like that. That's, that. That gives you a fighting chance more than just one word search terms, specific terms. Uh, oh, not a problem, Jim Apple. Always nice to see you, my friend. And I hope we get to stay in touch more now. I really hope so. It's great to see you back. Tell me I will lose my subscribers and have to start over from scratch yeah yeah nothing nothing will change martin 1107 nothing uh just let your viewers know in advance they'll get updates once you change it from this new channel but they won't know it's from make a video maybe two weeks before you plan to change it to what the name's going to be while you're doing it just let them know just try to think it out because you don't want to do channel names uh, changes too much though i have pushed you hashtag oh are you guys talking with kings of darwin um, no. Uh, hashtag live with Pusha works unless you add the location to the video to it. Oh, it yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was answering the okay. northern, but yes, Kings and Darwin went into that too. Yes, definitely. We talked about the hashtag. So up to three hashtags in your description are going to be added to the over top of your title if you want it, them to be there. Mm. Uh, we use only ours. We add ours at the end, so it just doesn't go in between of all the text. 
you're right if you use a location that's gonna go on top of that instead um, uh, just a caution uh, use your own hashtag um, don't use general hashtags or mm. just something because what it does it it differs people from your videos yeah. see like it's like a clickable link if somebody clicks on that hashtag live is pusher, pusher most of the videos like 99 percent of them are going to be ours right um and that's what you want you don't want somebody clicking and then seeing a page with a whole bunch of other types of videos why um right so just mm. be careful with that and if you want to use hashtag words in say your side your description but don't want it be over top of your title just uh, have a hashtag space word that's what we do for Blue Ranch Group, for example. Yeah. Oh, uh, Great Grandma's Greenhouse. Welcome, by the way. She's speaking to you. I use elderberry uh, tincture for colds and flu. It's amazing. Oh, yes. I would love to. Uh, I don't know if it's available here. They don't believe in <laughs> holistic approach. There's places for it. I just haven't found them, but there are places here. Forever Freaky okay, Funko, so great to see you. It, I must say. So great to see you, and much love to you as well. Always love having you in here. You're, it's always a pleasure to see you, my friend. Uh, thank you, I crazy. Hey, you motivate us. It's a two-way street all the time. Uh, what's the point of having hashtags in your YouTube videos? Well, like I just said, yeah, uh, the ones over top of the title will refer to more videos. It's like having another link. You know, or maybe there is a specific link that you want them to see that will refer to the specific types of your videos. You can use it that way, too. It kind of works a bit like a modified playlist in a way. Yeah. It, it, it builds up in that way. So people start clicking under. They start getting more of our video. That's why we use ours the way they are. That's why if you join like with other hashtags from a video, that's what happens. You get kind of lost in the mix with it. It's not such a benefit to you. So you're better off having your own that you come up with and working with them you can use hashtags in the title too and it was kind of more beneficial when youtube was automatically sharing your videos yeah now it's still beneficial though if it does go on twitter um you know that hashtag will appear as a clickable hashtag on twitter but usually don't spam your title with hashtags it is spammy yep. it can be referred as community guideline uh break as for spamming so unless it makes sense um and on that note, avoid also caps, uh, hashtags in your uh, channel and all that, it, uh, in your descript your uh, title names and stuff like that, because everything, YouTube is really clamping down on spammy things, like you just use that term. Yeah. And that's, all those things kind of get you more in the sights of the AI for it, so. And definitely as a travel channel, I would suggest a location as a better option than a hashtag, because people search by location, and a more specific location can be the better. Which big YouTuber was it last night that was writing in caps and then we seen they were changing over? Was it was it Peter McKinnon? Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So definitely next location. Next question. Uh, okay. Uh, the next question here was, um, I was wondering what I should do in a situation from Just Juju, where I, I used to be friends with someone in my videos, then they disappear. Do my subs deserve an explanation? Do you have to make a explanation video to, to it, your viewers about something going on? Is it crucial to your channel? Is it something like you were really bound together that it's drawing a lot of heads? Do you think it has to be really addressed? And not just because you think a couple of people are curious. If it's just a couple of people, you're better off letting them know privately and move on. Mm -hmm. If it ties into the story and the story means your channel, then sometimes you do have to address it, yes. But uh, think about it a lot. It's, a lot of times it's not necessary. Uh, it's, it's The times that are necessary are, are usually a low percentage. So <coughs> I don't, we don't know the exact story to it, so it's hard to give a definitive answer, but that was what I would give as kind of a bit of a guideline for it. Any thoughts? Yeah, no, I, I mean, if it's one, one in a million years video, so to say, uh, and you seem, but you think that it, it was important part of your content before then you can do it yeah that's, um, that's what i kind of said about it if it if it's for the sake of a question nosiness or drama don't do it if yeah. it's for the sake of your channel because it's like a part of that history that's closing then say it usually it opens uh grounds for more questions it causes more problems than it helps yeah <laughs> so that's you, why i say it's a low percentage that you'll need to do that you can do it privately if there has been a question you can answer privately if it's necessary, even. Uh, and Xenia decides that she doesn't want to go and do live streams anymore. 
would do a video saying that she's decided she's not going to do them anymore. That's why. And then you're going to know it's just me and that. But if it's somebody who came on once in a while, lightly, and is just gone, we got an argument, they don't come on anymore, and that it doesn't have to be addressed. Like, I'm just trying to think of two out of many examples. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very true. Exactly. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, so, Espen Matheson asked, what are the rumors of YouTube broken? <laughs> Any thoughts? We did two videos last yeah. week about um, YouTube guideline updates. That was on Tuesday Tech Talk. And the follow-up Q&A on Thursday night is our second stream for Thursday about that. Um, my personal opinion, it's not broken. Uh, as any other business, it goes through changes. It's huge business. That means with huge responsibility as well. And it goes through changes. We just got to adjust. We basically are employees for YouTube, if, <laughs> if you want to look at it. Yep. <laughs> so if you want to uh, earn money from them, you gotta play by the rules. You gotta uh, roll with it, but it is partly broken right now in the sense that there's a way too many glitches that are out of control yes, that's hindering exactly. creators on here. Mm -hmm. I just checked again and it finally broke 52, which like I say, it was showing for 40 minutes. And there's people coming and going. Nothing ever holds that consistent for that long. <coughs> and like I say, we're losing with 25, 30% of our actual viewers that are watching us. It, they're there, but they're not counting them. And that's the big guys are getting it. And there's all kinds of glitches between and after that, so. Yes, you're right. I kind of, I guess I, I took the question into more philosophical, bigger. Yeah, no, and you're right on that answer. answer yeah, no. that, but you're correct. Yeah. You're correct. There's <laughs> tons of glitches. So if you're talking about technical parts, it is broken. <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate your optimism onto it. And in the scheme of things, it's going to get better and there's nothing we can do. So we just might as well treat it as we got to keep on. So in part, then you go by Xenia's answer that this is in the scheme of things. We don't have a contract by it. We are working under their rules and we have to deal with it. They don't owe us anything. They don't guarantee us a guarant uh, tight connection, uh, probably maintain viewership or anything like that. Nothing in the rules. So we're left at their beck, beck and mercy. Uh, dark one. Don't ever be sorry. Never. No. Uh, uh, how much work should, be do should we be doing for our channel out of the YouTube platform? Oh. <laughs> It's Thank a you, constant Don. work. It's a constant work everywhere. Uh, social media marketing. Uh, I mean, the more you can do, the better. There is no such thing as too little, as Gary Vernishek says. The more content you can pump out, the better. Yeah. Um, and not that I'm a fan of his, but uh, he's right. The more you can get out there, the better, because you get your visibility out there, you know, and it's such a saturated market nowadays. I agree with that, but the part is always remember that the content you put out reflects you, so make sure it's reflecting you positively and not looking like you're just putting something out for the sake of having it, because that can be detrimental. Over That comes back to live streams that are drawn out just for watch time or videos that are just like, hey, look, here's up my nose. Take yeah, care. no, I um, agree, but I, I'm talking about outside of YouTube, like social media marketing. Oh, that yeah, yeah, you're constantly. Yeah. If you're a YouTuber right away, you might like the term, but you become kind of an entrepreneur. And if you've ever met an entrepreneur, when they start a new business, they're out a day and night, and every opportunity is taken. No matter how tired they are, no matter how fed up they are of it, it's just that way. It, it, it's uh, It's just part of the game. You have to still mingle. You have to still get out there. You have to get it, let people know that you're you're what you're doing. You have to stay. Uh, you're always closing the ABCs. <laughs> you really are. You know, every time if I go into uh, a, a Nomadic Bikes uh, stream, I'm meeting people in there. I'm, I want to meet new ones. I want to know. What do. I also want to support Nomadic Bike because he's been good to me. That's business relationship. It doesn't mean we're not friends, but that my, that mentality has to be used to really get ahead on YouTube. And you're going to be busy with it. It's like a garden. You don't just throw the seeds in and walk away. You're constantly, constantly tending it to have it grow. Oh, and yeah. It takes everything at your arsenal, all the social medias, all the Facebook groups, all the wherever you can get your name out and meet people that are interested in watching what you do or potentially interested, you got to be there whenever possible. And I'm uh, doing well. He says on Twitter, a struggle for us knowing who and how to engage. Well, look at what people are posting. You can always answer in the comments the question. You can comment on somebody else's. You know, just getting involved into, into answering other people's posts at first. And definitely share other people's content, not just yours. That's yep. definitely a great suggestion yep. that we had once as well. Don't just share your content, share other people's as well. 
Oh my god, I love that nomadic bike. Respect is key. How true is that? And thank you for mentioning that because I've been on that kick lately reminding people that's all those things about going in. Like, yes, mingle, but don't go in promoting yourself. Don't go in overshutting the, the host. Don't go in making it all about you. Go in and talk about them. It's their show at the moment. Make them feel good. They deserve it the same way as you deserve it when people come into yours. So very true, my friend. And I have to address this right away. Alan's outdoor. Alan outdoors. This has been coming up a lot again lately. <laughs> do you get watch time by watching videos? You do not get watch time for anything except your own videos and live streams that you put out. Because uh, people are asking this, and I know there's a whole new run of new people coming in lately, and they're asking that, like, if I'm on a panel on a live stream, do I get the watch? Do I also get watch time? If I'm watching a live stream, do I get watch time or videos? N uh, none, none. The only one that gets the watch time is the one that's hosting the video or the live stream. Only that one. Well, well, Michael Malloy show. Hello. Oh, Haley. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome, Tony and Big Tony family. Hello, good to see you. Uh, yes, respect is a key. I like that. Let's see what happens. I'm going kind of curious now. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so um, X writing and blogs. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, the zombie fight I wanted to address what you were saying about the gore uh, channels. They're still allowed. It's just you got to be very careful of what you are reflecting there. Uh, there are more chances of video being demonetized, obviously, um, especially now. Like this is kind of the storm that we have to wait out, right? Uh, so definitely refer to the guidelines where they talk about graphic uh, content and all of that seen to the details of their description of what is graphic content uh, so um, you definitely there's tons of channels that are still doing it and they're nowhere uh, going nowhere even you know, like bigger channels as well so just know what you're doing always refer to the guidelines so you know where you stand on I'm Hook TV hello <laughs> I sent to the troops I guess tonight yeah Jack fishing. Hello, good to see you. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, and thank you, X written in blood. Really do appreciate it. And right back at you, Alvi and Voy. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and keep up with the changes. Yes, and YouTube is a constant living organism. We always yeah. talk about that. It is like a life. Uh, in reality, you know, it reflects a lot of that here as well. It it is constant changes, constantly got adjusted. Uh, watch your comments closely. Check your old ones. Yes, very true. Keep an eye on that. I put the filters. We talked about that t uh, last week on both of our videos. Mm. So we're not going to repeat that uh, here, but you can definitely refer to it. I'm uh, I'm under the weather. My voice is off, uh, but we're still here. <laughs> uh, I'm sick, but uh, that's okay. Uh, Jeffrey responded in a quite snappy manner, but he was tired of seeing this person overshadowing me. Congratulating someone else. He said it was rude to take away someone else. Yeah. Um, oh, you're talking about uh, the two uh, toddy. Yeah. Yes, it happens. Mm -hmm. Well, I just have to be respectful. Yep. I agree. I watched that video um, like a couple nights ago. Yeah. I've been saying this for a long time. If you treat people on here the way you would treat them in real life, almost none of these problems exist. That's the biggest problem on this one. See... YouTube is was supposed to be always higher up than other social media platforms because it's not a social media platform. That's what this gray line that came in here at some point, I don't know where it ever came from, started. And that's what happened. And you get like these people that used to write these long-winded, stupid, pointless, page-long rants on Facebook. You know, everybody's on Facebook has seen them over time. The ones you go, oh, that idiot, and leave it alone. <coughs> All of a sudden, at some point, YouTube line got blurred, and now these idiots have like, uh, oh, I don't even have to type it anymore. I can come and do it for a couple hours on YouTube. And I created this unhealthy, disrespectful environment in YouTube. And that's the thing that got lost with it. And, and then people start stop treating people like they would treat them in real life. And when they stop that, that's when the real garbage starts to fly. So if everybody just took a step back, and started treating people the way they would treat them day to day because most of them they would never say what they say on here to their face as most other social medias and this is not social media these are people that create stuff do stuff work on stuff 
we should be a rank higher than all that should be respectful more but you know and that's why we're seeing more and more of it we were talking about that the other night again how many times are you going to a live stream and somebody walks in hey there how you doing great to see you i got a live stream going on in five minutes but just want to come in and say hi but i'm not self-promoting myself i'm not giving the hint that everybody should or half your audience should just get up and come on over with me um all that kind of stuff and i mean that's just the tip of the iceberg hundreds of examples of stuff like that go on just be respectful you know and don't put up with it uh i always use the effect of i treat my stream and that's another thing i hear it so often being in live streams is not a god-given right these are all like private clubs private shops whatever you want to call them <laughs> if you have 50 100 200 to 950 people into it whatever you have two say you have 10 and two are being obnoxious my opinion has always been to get rid of the two to keep the other eight happy because if you don't those two will start to get more obnoxious and chase away the good ones and it will get overrun so that's a big lesson for it keep your channel happy if you want to keep it the way you want to be it now there's some bars like for instance bars that go more wild and they like more wild they'll let in more like that because they want that and the other ones that don't want that will fade away make your channel the way you want it run it the way you want it be proud of the way you run it and people will enjoy you yeah in drone hub how are and you? now even more than ever youtube is putting responsibility in your hands That's to take right. care of the house that is your channel Mm -hmm. YouTube guys this is the year that they clean up a lot of garbage <coughs> they have had it they don't want any more scandals they're tired of being on the New York Times for messes they, they've had it me personally I think there's gonna be two more times this year where they're gonna tighten up everything again they, this this is uh, a summary of what's to come oh my god yeah it's really getting well, via this hello <laughs> Well, that's okay. Uh, I recently made a Facebook for my channel, and here our suggestion seems to be doing okay so far. Yeah, and I mean, really, uh, we talked about that about promoting channel outside of YouTube. Is it really depends on what your um, audience is? Yeah. So, for example, old, older audience or specific niche uh, category of your channel is going to do better on Facebook because, mm -hmm. first of all, it, it has a little bit older audience in general there, and um, also. Like uh, travels with Bruce with cruising and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, more know, niche, the, something like that is good. Big better. group channels on Facebook does well. Because it has a lot of groups there. Mm. And then a younger uh, audience uh, and more visual content like photo, cinematics and all of that is going to do better on Instagram. Yeah. Um, and then Twitter is kind of in the middle of it. So Twitter kind of gives you just a way to shout it out, so to say, and get involved into more interaction with people there because you can have these conversations in the comment section. You can talk with each other you know ask questions it's a more i find it more interactional so it really depends on what your channel is about what your audience is and sometimes sometimes you could be doing much better in that other platform than on youtube definitely you know so then kind of youtube becomes supplementary to your uh like if you're platform. a motocross channel like yeah. there's some younger ones that do branch over because even though they're in the motocross there could be big groups on facebook <laughs> but a lot of them would go Instagram and stuff like that. They're gamers. There's going to be a lot of Discord and that. There is some crossover, but not all of them do. Certain ones, like gamers, for instance, won't have very much interest for Facebook. They'll tend to... Uh, even now, I would say a lot of uh, more popular music and stuff like that will be... Oh, God. So cool. So it's hard to hear that for this. Yep, Everybody's getting sick lately. Um as you can hear my voice here in the same situation as well <laughs> um thank you to zombified yeah I, I just was saying that i have fibromyalgia too i didn't know that you have it um so i get you completely happy lux hello oh it's a late night for you over there in luxembourg my friend hope you're doing well hope you're doing well yeah always nice to see you that's right guys I'm sorry, I just gotta move this around. I uh, wanted to, uh, to uh, let you know too, if you can please hit the like button. And also if you can come back and leave a comment afterwards it's uploaded. We do appreciate that. If you can comment on anything and everything that we talked about throughout today. We do appreciate that. We can continue the conversation in the comment section as well. 
uh, podcasters have interesting issues crossing over between po- yes <coughs> uh, Juliet Miranda great example yeah. of that one of the top 200 podcasters in iTunes and just cracked a thousand not long ago the talent is there in droves and she's not the only one it just seems to be so hard for podcasters in general it seems like it's almost easier as a YouTuber to cross over to podcasts versus going the other way yeah it's just one of those phenomenons uh, um, yes definitely and we have had numerous podcasters on that has the same issue yeah um, I think it's because it's a different way of interact interaction mm-hmm. and that's what they say themselves as well um, yeah it's but hard to change platforms and it's not only yeah. from a uh, podcast to YouTube even what just try changing platforms to Instagram all of a sudden you know you'll have to change your whole game um, or to Twitter if you want to have it as your main thing you got to change your whole way of doing things if if you're changing the focus of what which platform is going to be your um, main one you know <coughs> uh, painting their roses red says looked at your photos on Instagram absolutely gorgeous thank you <coughs> I haven't posted anything since August I'm, I'm so slacking at us but my uh, stories are good though <laughs> stories are getting mm-hmm. there CJ and K's <coughs> life and Jenny Morris. So good to see you all, guys. So many great channels. Raymond, how are Raymond doing? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, my. Um, well, uh, le- Lego work. Hello. Hmm. Will 4K video hmm. be true UHD on YouTube if people watch on a 4K TV? There's been a lot of look into it, and they're realizing more and more all the levels they're using in fo- in in YouTube are all partials, and it's a lot of just boosted bit rates. It's not true, uh, true UHD 4K even. It's kind of a hybrid at best. I mean, you know, as long as it tricks the eye. I mean, who who, you know, that's the main thing. <laughs> I just searched the hashtags I mentioned and no one no popped up. This is a this is good to put in my video description, right? Make it your own if it's not showing up. I don't know. I didn't catch the, what it was a while ago, but if it's not showing up, if you can make it your own. Yes. Yes. Then it's fine. Yeah. But then explain what it means to people. But yes, then go ahead. It may be that I stepped back from YouTube for a while as I discovered that I couldn't put the time into properly maintaining my channel, but I still enjoy the casual c- connections. Hey, and th- and that's a fine way to look at it. I mean, Eric, Eric the Red, by the way, great to see you. Everybody's got to see what they want to do on here, how far they want to go with it, because it is a lot of commitment, and it's not, uh, it's not for everybody. Um, you know, it's uh, some have uh, higher goals than others, and and. That's not a bad thing. There's tons of the biggest majority on here is people who don't create any content. In the end, that's who you hope will be watching most of what you do because they're there for nothing more than just to enjoy what you do. I always say it's like three stages. Uh, People who really want to go far with it, you're going to meet people in your niche, whatever you start. And then from there, you hopefully come to channels like these and you meet other creators doing the same thing. And from there, you hope it grows into the biggest part of the, the, the globe is the ones that are there to just watch what you do and nothing else so it's uh there's nothing wrong with it everybody has a, everybody has a right to do what they want to do in here as long as they're not infringing on youtube's guidelines as long as you're not doing that you're golden and they're very clear what they are so you can create as little or as much content as you want and as long as you're enjoying yourself power to you that's what i say crew for life uh uh, uh, Raymond's uh, I don't know I haven't seen her in ages I don't I don't know I had no idea I am new at photography and after looking at your photos on Instagram I absolutely love how you focus on the eyes in my personal opinion that truly tells the story says crew for life um well can you repeat that please it was a statement that said I am new at photography, photography yeah and after looking at your photos on Instagram, I absolutely love how you focus on the eyes. In my Thank personal you. opinion, this is truly the story. <laughs> I was answering the question of Kings and Darwin, so I do apologize. Oh, but okay. uh, thank you so much. Yes. I changed platform from Twitter to YouTube. 20K on Twitter, and I thought it would be as easy transition, but it's more work than I initially thought. I crazy, yeah. 
and that's one of the easier ones to kind of combine by and you see how much work it is so that's why people coming from one of the other ones like pull their hair out and somebody even give up they get so uh, jaded by the whole thing just keep at it though that's all you can do is just keep going at it 20k on twitter was very impressive i love having a youtube channel but being a single dad and being in this crazy line of work i do is so hard to find the time to dedicate to other social media platforms such as instagram that's another thing jag too it is it's easy to say all these things uh oh, video call and show you have a great night thank you so very much and that's true and, and it is probably like you can't take that back it is it does help with growing but at the same time too it's exactly there's only so many hours and you can only do what you do what you can do uh twitter is just key because at least then it keeps you connected to the ones and you can use that more because on the fly you can keep connected with more people that follow you that way and then when youtube doesn't notify people as much you're on that you've been using that as a tool for that as well so if you have to pick one of them twitter is pretty much the given right now does it take long to upload a one hour 4k video do i need a day of work it depends how fast your internet connection is just my fish that's the first biggest part if your internet connection is really good uh i don't know uh with rendering and that after one is done in that an hour probably looking about i'm just taking 40 minutes on a pretty good connection i would say but don't quote me on it i'm just taking a wrong guess dark one where does uh where does it tell us what the where does it tell us, Pucha Studios, that we are verified? I or, that oh, one. sorry. Okay. Uh, look, I'm about to start studying YouTube. Yeah, we're talking <laughs> about being YouTube verified or mm. certified, which is two different things. Yes, mm. definitely. <laughs> um, Doctor doesn't want to miss Tech Talk today. Oh my, oh dark one. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I hope you're feeling good, though. Yes. <laughs> Guys, so I th are we pretty much at the end of the questions? Or? Yes, we are. Guys, I think we're going to end it, though, pretty soon. Xenia's been a real trooper for this, and I know her throat is uh, really uh, uh, not, not... It's not a good night for her tonight. She's not feeling the best. So uh, I want to... If that's all right with you guys, we'll end it a bit early, but I want to thank you all so much. I hope you guys can hit the like button. I hope you can tell friends about it as well. And uh, really enjoyed having you guys here tonight. Uh, oh, okay. I was gonna say uh, that he's already just finished. Oh. He's the same one. Yeah, because I would. Oh uh, uh, well, we're whichever then. Uh, if you have one. No. Okay. All right. Let's just do the the music just like we did last night. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Guys, and also if you can hit the like button, and we've been asking the last couple of nights. Usually we send other live streams, but if you guys could do. Uh, just uh, example, put the link in, visit and watch maybe one of our cinematic videos. We're just trying to get them rejuvenated. That would really help us a lot. You can hit the like button here. And if you have time later, if you can drop by and just uh, leave a comment, uh, so we could we would really appreciate it. it it's uh, always good. to. It helps us a lot, especially the last couple of days. We're all feeling the pinch with everything that's going on. So For sure. And I uh, just wanted to address what Legwork is have saying. It really bite. depends what your goal is on YouTube. I think there's so many people here with different goals. Some treat it as a social media website, and it's fine. Yeah. And some uh, sees it as a goal of a business. And that's fine as well. Some yeah. wants to make big. That's fine as well. And with every goal comes a different way of treating your channel. And it's fine as long as we understand the differences and respect them. That's fine as well. Legwork says I'd much it, rather. Yeah, you that. You answer, sorry, because I was reading ahead. We do that sometimes, then we end up talking to talk of each other. Thank you so much. Yep. I think that's all the questions there. Thank you guys for everything tonight, and lots of love to you. And thank you for always believing in us. Thank you for supporting us. And uh, just remember, guys, we're all in this together. So if you guys can hit the like button, then you'll put the link in the description. If you can just check out one of our cinematic videos, it uh, would mean a lot. Get to see some of the other stuff you do. And also check out our Instagram as well. Actually, guys, if you're not uh, subscribed to, if you have Instagram, you have Twitter, you have Discord, all those things, please look us up. We'd love to connect with you as well. It's a great way to stay connected. Must not put all our eggs in one basket, guys. In the meantime, we'll see you very soon. Thank you so much for everything. Be well, be good to each other, and we'll talk to you really soon. Cheers and keep creating, guys.